Okay, we are live. Hello, YouTubers and Random Dot Who fans. I hope you are all doing well. Uh, today, we are going to be doing a Dalek movie discussion, and I am joined by two very special guests. I'll let uh, Tom introduce himself. What happened to Tom? We lost him to the Daleks. Should have won many centuries ago. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this movie a couple of times. Uh, hello, I am Dalek Apocalypse, aka that one git who was taken over by a Dalek just a few seconds ago. And I'm sure it will happen again. Okay, okay. Uh, and also our other guest, I'll let him introduce himself. He needs no introduction. Hello, uh, yes, Richard. I've uh, been on the channel quite a few times now. Uh, you've probably seen me before, but if not, um, yeah. I'm a person, I meant to see stuff. Um, yeah, we had to discuss the Dark films. Yeah, just... just. Uh, and yeah, we've been, we've been doing some stuff actually, haven't we, with the Dark Movie Month. I think I should probably mention that. Uh, yeah. We've been uh, doing uh, some coordinated videos across my channel and uh, Oscars and Miles as well, uh, Tired Vision. Um, we had the vlog, didn't we, for the, the BFI, BFI thing, thing yeah. we went to together, which was great. And then Miles and I reviewed both films across our channels uh, the past week as well. And there's some more stuff to come, isn't there? Uh, well, obviously this is part of it as well. And like yeah. Merch videos in there and, yeah, the, uh, the merch video yeah. is clocking in at about 15 minutes and it uh -huh. should be up tomorrow night. All things going well. Exciting. Uh, I'll get up in the morning, try and render it out in time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and <into> that, yeah. <laughs> fingers crossed it comes out. Uh, so yeah, they usually yeah. come out about, about between half five and half seven, any time between then. But um, yeah, it's it was a very difficult video to do. Um, yeah. it, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, because there isn't really that much movie merchandise from like the 60s. But when it comes to the nostalgic stuff like with Project Enterprise and Daypol and things, there's there's loads. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but then again, Daypol only had that one figure. Oh uh, well, I mean, <laughs> there is a little bit more to that. There are other figures, but you'll have to watch the video to find out about that. Hmm. <laughs> I don't count the the re-releases of the old ones. You'll, you'll just have to wait and see. That goes to everyone else watching as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot something else. Oh, there's like there's this Product Enterprise prototype thing, which I forgot to include, and I need to put it in. So good thing I remembered. Wow. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> who we got? Richard, who have we got in the chat? Uh, so like, we've got three boys copping. Uh, Stanley, hello, uh, Stanley. Uh, YouTube, Harry Alpha Scrapper, and Devrin Hassan. Um, I think that's everyone so far. I've got eight people watching, apparently, including me. Um, nice. Exciting. Nice. Oh, well, there we go as well. <laughs> Two of us, yeah. Um, cool. So, yeah, please let us know if you're here in the chat. Yeah, it's really, oh, I can see it on my OBS actually. I really enjoyed that fan trailer of Daleks versus the Mekons. Oh, yeah. Does anyone remember that? No. I, I do. So. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what? I remember that. Should I share it? Should we just watch it? I mean, you won't be able to see my screen. You might have to just get it up yourselves, but I'll, uh, I'll put it on because it won't yeah. be copyrighted. Uh, uh, basically, everyone in the chat, just say your opinions about the Dalek movies. Just talk about anything Dalek movie related, and we'll uh, we'll riff off of you. So, okay, uh, Daleks. Uh, there was uh, there was something I wanted to bring up, and it was a few jokes that I made while I was watching the films. They better not be rude, because if they are, <laughs> we won't no, allow no. that. <laughs> uh, not sure. oh. They're not they're not that rude. <laughs> Not that rude, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, right, I've got yeah, that. But... Yeah, the one joke that I recall making while I was watching the films is when... Is when... What is the name of that, of that guy that sold out of the doc... from Doctor Who to the Daleks? Who is that guy again? Was he ever named in the film? You're gonna have to. Sorry, let's just say that again. I, I didn't quite catch uh, everything you said. Uh, the, the guy in the creamish white coat in the second film. Oh yeah, the uh, yep. yeah, him. Yeah, was he ever named? I don't know. Was he? Not I don't think he was. <laughs> no? That's me. Was it? Was he in the quiz? Do you remember the quiz we did at the Quiz of Rassilon? Oh gosh, he probably <laughs> was, but yeah. I still can't remember. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. 
the joke was when he died, I was like, you know what I think this film needs? I think it needs more explosions. And then the house explodes. <laughs> and then the house just explodes. Like, how did it explode that much? Oh. Mm -hmm. Through fire hoses. Like, Dalek fire yeah. hoses, and they just blew it up. It's great. Uh, right, I'll, I'll... Who knew fire hose could explode a house? <laughs> All right, I'll just uh, share this trailer. Uh, if you got, if you both want to get it up, it's called Doctor Who Daleks vs. Mekons. Uh, right. I'll give you a minute or two. Personally, I prefer the Mission of Doom, if anybody knows oh, that. Oh, we'll, we'll get on to Mission of Doom. Um, yeah. Oh, thank God, because there's so much to talk about. There is a lot. If you, Hey, Tom, if you, if you can find, like, a... Is there like a blogger website with all the pictures on it? You know, like uh, all the behind the scenes pictures um, of it. I recall I, I had it saved, but then again, that was on my old computer. Ah, oh, tragic. Okay. But I can look ah. for it again. Uh, the guy who sold out was, how? No, the guy who sold out Doctor Who was broccoli. Oh, that's it, broccoli. Not the vegetable, the person. No, not broccoli. <laughs> no. <laughs> broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if well, we got probably, uh, the first thing that came up when I searched for Daleks Mission of Doom is a fucking custom. A custom? Oh, <laughs> somebody <laughs> made. Is somebody made a custom? Like yeah, somebody made a custom. It was about right, bloody time. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, send that over. I'll have a look. Okay, give me a second. Um, let's have a quick look. Oh, I've ended up looking at the chat now. Um. Oh well. Uh, three boys copping. Stanley says before the BFI, my favourite was the Dalek twenty one fifty. After the BFI, my favourite was Doctor Who and the Daleks. That's interesting because I feel like that probably changed a few people's opinions because I actually preferred the first one. Watching it at the movies. And what about you, Richard? Yeah, out of the two, too. yeah. Me too, yeah. I mean, I hadn't I hadn't seen the second one prior to that. I'd seen the first one once before, just on a TV screen. So um, I guess it was a twofold thing of seeing the first film on the big screen kind of raised my sort of um my, my views and opinions i suppose of, of, of the first film and yeah yeah also because yeah a lot of factors may have worked against the second film on that day because it was second oh, i hadn't seen it before because it was second in the run and we're all flagging a bit i suppose by the afternoon and stuff and yeah it's sure it's colorful anyway yeah um so yeah I, i'm i'm with sammy on that Currently, but who knows? Once I've seen it again, I, I, maybe a couple more times. The thing for me I, about I the um, about seeing the second film in the cinema, I was talking to you about this, Richard, about how the first one is funny, as in like it is, yeah. it's, it's kind of is a little bit self-aware in how ridiculous it is, whereas uh -huh. the, sec the second yeah. one takes itself seriously, but the audience was still yes, kind of laughing, and it kind of like yeah. didn't really work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether audiences in the sixties like laughed when they watched the films or not. That's yeah, maybe not some. I don't know. I suppose for certain things like Roy Castle and Bernard Cribbins and I, I oh yeah, yeah. Done, but um, yeah, the, the, I guess yeah, there, there are certainly bits that we would have laughed at as Doctor Who fans watching it all these years on that uh, certainly wouldn't have been intended to be as yeah. funny as they were. Dalek's heads yeah. wobbling and stuff. Um, not to yeah. mention, not yeah. to mention that all of the food that they have on Scaro is different flavors. Oh, I know. Oh, actually, I was um, I can't remember what I was reading. Um, I don't know whether it was in like the Dalek handbook thing. I can't remember what it was from, but apparently there were like plans to have like a Dalek civilization in the early period. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Yeah, there was. Oh, yeah. Because like they yeah, built like really fancy cities and stuff and had the food, like you said, yeah. and it's like they were creating like a civilization kind of with the Daleks, but it never really happened after that. Which is kind of funny. Yeah, because. <laughs> People were more interested in seeing them take over planets and, mm. you know, how we see them today. Hey, in an alternate universe, I'd love to see, like, um, the Peter Cushing movies, like, continue on with that whole Dalek thing. That would be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. But anyway, okay. share, screen sharing, uh, I don't know if you can see, Richard, but we've got um, a Mission of Doom custom, which is really sick, and I would love oh, to make yeah. one of these. I yeah. See yeah. Yeah, it, it is beautiful. Oh, that something about the gold base just works so well. <laughs> anyway, yeah. enough. Wait. In fact, the strangest Wait, so thing is that when I looked at the footage for the Mission of Doom, I only recall ever seeing one Dalek with a golden base. Everyone else had. A oh yeah, base. yeah, I remember that as well. Except for the leaders. Yeah. 
So maybe this one would have been like a commando or something? It's certainly interesting. But then again, there was still the red Dalek. So what was this guy's bloody job? Uh, <laughs> uh, cleaner? I don't know. <laughs> don't oh. ask me. Um... Oh no no! I, I remember I remember what it was from the civilization thing. It was from the Dalek six three eight eight video. Have you seen that? The latest yes, one. Yeah. 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 Uh, they mentioned it, didn't they? Yeah. That's really good. Was that? Uh, anyway, have we got the the Mekon thing up the trailer? Have you guys got right. it? I yes, I've got it here myself. Um... Doctor Who Daleks versus Mekons, the third Cushing film trailer. I think is what it's yeah. called. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, we'll just watch. An unofficial trailer. Uh, I've started playing it anyway, so. Um, right. Yeah. Time space visualizer. Oh, I don't want to get copyright strikes from the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. We have to mute the Beatles. I love the Beatles. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that might be good. You know, when I was a kid, I thought this was real. <laughs> when I was ten years old. Oh, I believe out of you and I when we were kids, I was the smarter one. I knew this wasn't real. I take my hat off to you, Tom. I mean, I mean, I saw that after the documentary. Dalek oh, Dalek Mania, Mania yeah. Dalek Mania, yeah, and right, they yeah. talk about the mission of Doom at one point. And I was like, that, that's the official one to me. Yeah, I think I was like that as well with Mission of Doom. I didn't realise it was a fan thing, but we'll get on to that in yeah. a bit. Yeah, I thought it was official. I haven't seen this in years. God, yeah, that, this is weird. Like this is my first time, so... I don't blame you if it's your first time. I love how they call, <laughs> I love how they call them Mekons instead of Mechanoids. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Would have been even more amusing if they spelt Mekons with an A. Mekans? Mekans. Is, is that a term that I don't know? <laughs> oh, like with Mekanoid, the alternative spelling Mekanoid, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a reference to yeah. the alternative spelling. <laughs> you know, actually, this is actually a really damn good edit for, um, like, 2010. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. The, the... In 2010. Um, it probably was done earlier, you know. Because it was uploaded onto oh, the I see. I see Alpha. I mean, Howie Alpha tried to correct what I said earlier yep. about the black based Daleks in the Mission of Doom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I I think he was still typing out when I pointed out that I only recall the leader Daleks having the gold and silver base. Ah. Yeah. Okay, that clears that up. I love how the, the Emperor's in this as well, that's really cool. Mm. Him and his big head. <laughs> oh, I really want, like, um... Because Green's 3D made a 3D model of that, and I really want to buy it. But... Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. I want to figure up that as well. Well, I mean... I mean, character doctors don't make figures of new moulds anyway, but, you know, they could Plus technically he's... do it, couldn't they? <laughs> wow. <laughs> they could technically do it, though. They could make one because there's no licensing issues i don't think no idea i mean because it's b yeah. is it bbc I mean, or is it i've heard they can do it's like a comic thing isn't it mm. from, what I've, from yeah. what I've heard they can do the comics but only if it's officially licensed by the bbc right i'm, mm. I'm sure it was though <laughs> yeah. but yeah. the comics from the 60s weren't oh they were they were, not uh, Jem they were jeremy anderson oh comics. Mm. Yeah. I, mean, I guess they, they were able to use it for the um, Time of Victorious thing, weren't they? So yeah, I mean, maybe there's a way that, around it. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it appeared, that was basically the same Dalek, wasn't it? So. Basically. But I'm still yeah. wondering, why the hell haven't they done Time of Victorious figures? Yeah, in character, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's so <laughs> bloody easy. They have the moulds. Yeah, they, <laughs> the Daleks are easy. You just need new headlights and new... Yeah. 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 And There's a repaint. Paul yeah. McGann, they're all so easy. Just repaint part of them and yeah. then boom, you're done. Yeah. Why you should watch the Cushing movies. I know, I've got that as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up next, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the algorithm. Oh. Oh, recommending the same videos. Um, so yeah, that was 
I feel like has your life changed, Richard? <laughs> I, yeah. I liked seeing that. I'm glad it's been brought to my attention. Uh, cool. I was just reading the little video description as well, how it talks about it as though it was an actual thing that was then uh, lost in a fire or whatever. So it's, yeah, it's good fun. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, have you not seen that bit? Uh, cool. Yeah, I'm just reading it now. <laughs> that's, that's official. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, it's official. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. Where were we? Uh, 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 uh. They t oh, you already read that song. I've been trying to track down a mechanoid figure for ages. Uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah. You know, Captain Jimmy Pie, I think, modelled the uh, 3D print, didn't he? I think. But it was at the time of Victorious one, so... No. Yeah. Um, oh, well. But anyway, let, let's get back to the movies. We, we, we diverted too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, I'm, good, I'm good at doing that. That's yeah. what we do on these live streams. We kind of yeah. go off topic. Yeah, I think we should go oh, back yes. to the topic of, da of dark food being flavoured strawberry <laughs> what do you think they were yeah like cream. strawberry chocolate mint and, and everybody's favourite <laughs> lemon lemon <laughs> yeah or banana oh it, actually that would make more sense banana yeah because it was, it was more banana coloured than lemon <laughs> okay so in all seriousness though um, <laughs> Tom wh when did you first watch these movies um I'm calling how many years ago I was I was still a child I was, I was like somewhere about doing the end of Dave Tennant and Starf Matt Smith right um, no wait I think it was it was far before 2011 because that's when I got the data collection DVD so I would say around 2008 or 2009 I have no idea that's good. I mean, can you remember um, what you thought of them at the time? Um, I had only watched the first film at that point. Okay. Because there was a TV channel called Watch, which became W. I had no idea why, because that's stupid. <laughs> so, and they they would have a habit of re-airing Doctor Who episodes, and they had a habit of re-airing Love and Monsters. I am not kidding. Oh, there really? So many. <laughs> There were so many weekends where they would just re-air the episode <laughs> Love and Monsters. I'm like, do you like this episode? Do you like this episode? It's probably the only one they'd let them use of <laughs> the current series. <laughs> but then again, then again, I do find Love and Monsters an underrated gem. Yeah, I like I, it too. Oh, Please yes. kill me. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, um... Yeah, but yeah, if it wasn't Love Monsters that they'd like to re-air, during Doctor Who being marathons they would have for the day they would play the first Dalek movie okay that's cool um it was sort of like a my first exposure to 60s who because at that point my exposure to classic series was just from from Megros and the deadly assassin okay and that was it I think everything it... else just came later at the moment, and it forces TV that's showing Doctor Who at the moment. I think that's um, what it's called. Yeah, I think no, so. they. Yeah. No, uh, I think they stopped. Are they not? Have they stopped now? Oh, they stopped. But yeah, there was a couple of weeks ago. I think Terror of the Zygons, or maybe three weeks ago. I don't know. But Terror of the Zygons was on, and uh, that was cool. But um, yeah, they always used to show the Dal Dalek movies on Channel Five, and then for me, did, uh, did you not manage to catch those? Because I remember seeing but them on Channel no, Five. I... No, I was not aware of this. Mm. It was always that one show. I mean, it was always that one channel watch where they would re air it. Oh. Yeah. I, I always thought it was strange because I wasn't aware of the second film until I got it on DVD. In the box set? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I do recall there was one day where my dad wanted to watch one of the Dalek movies, and so I suggested the second film. Um, while we were watching, he was like, I've never seen this before. I think it flew under a lot of people's radars, to be honest. Because I think at the time, it didn't do as well. It didn't well. do well. It didn't yeah. do well. So that was a shame. Because I, I like it. I think it's better than the first one. You know, I kind of put that a little bit down to the poster. If you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> as in, Which one? The main subject of the second poster is a Roboman. Yeah. And it yeah, says... Roboman, front of the dark. 
in front of the yeah. red and blue Daleks, despite the fact there was only one red Dalek. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, not so much that, but I mean, if you didn't know what it was, then you'd think that the Daleks were just men in gimp mm-hmm. suits. Despite, despite the fact that... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Despite the fact that uh, the title was literally Daleks Invasion! Ah! But I mean, they did try and like, they showed it overseas and things. So I can't imagine it was. No, overseas. Oh, was that they, later? They had a few differences. Another was of was of a robot man having his hand over Louise. I am not making that up. Oh yeah, that was in the Dalek Mania documentary, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that was yeah, yeah. the Italian cover. I think it was because the transition from that, I mean, from that moment with the poster was the Italian trailer. Hmm. I, I think it was. I could be more mem- remembering things wrong. I should put that in the in the merch video. Just edit it in quickly. The Italian trailer. But um okay. So <laughs> Richard, your your first memories of the films. Yeah, so um I think I probably became aware of them around about the time of the fiftieth. Um and I do remember making a recording of of the first film on like channel four or five or whatever um obviously with ad breaks built into it as well and i, I sort of tried to watch it i think but i uh, didn't really get on with it for whatever reason uh it, it was a fairly kind of grainy recording it had ad breaks like i say so. yeah yeah and then um I, I, the next point was uh what it must have been it would have been tw- yeah 20, 2020 summer um obviously when the magnus daleks came out um the, the figures um obviously I got, I got hold of them and then shortly after that i got hold of the uh the the dvd of the, the dalek collection and watched the first film on that and just never really got around to the second film just for whatever reason uh until the bfi like i say um around about a month ago whenever it was um so you yeah, know i i watched watched the first film you know back in 2020 or whatever um and I was, yeah, I enjoyed it. I wasn't as enamoured by it as I was on this most recent watch, in, you know, in the cinema, on the cinema screen. Yeah, of course. Um, I, yeah, I, I think, especially looking back now, because I've been watching the documentaries and stuff on the new 4K version, and looking back at the uh, Dark Mania documentary and seeing how the footage looks in that, which obviously it's not been um, updated, it's just like the footage as it was at the time of, of, you know when Dark Mania was made, it's yeah, not 4K yeah. footage. Um, I think that kind of brings home to me the, the difference because when I watched it on the DVD, it must have been closer to that than yeah than the, the, this new 4K one. And so um, yeah, I, I just think for whatever reason, it, it's, it's definitely only since seeing them in the cinemas really how they're intended to be seen. Uh, that's when I, I've really become sort of a Dalek movie stan, if you like. Right. Um, it's quite funny because yeah, like be honest, obviously. Yeah. They were made for cinema. They're very much made for yeah. cinema movies because oh, yes. the gimmick was that it was in color and like color television was mm-hmm. not really a thing. So it was just amazing to see them, how they went to be mm-hmm. seen. Um, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, I have seen the movies a billion times. I, I've lost. I can't. Yeah. No idea. I think it started in 2005 I think it was that Remembrance and Rose which right. were my yeah. introductions to Doctor Who Wow! and I think I mean, I just it's just been a tradition every year to, to watch them mm-hmm. uh, I, I remember watching them a few months ago and it, oh, it's just it's just nothing gives me more nostalgia than these movies sure. it's, it's insane I felt a little tear trickle down my eye in the cinema <laughs> no, I'm not ashamed to admit though. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> nah, um... Fantastic. Th- thanks, Tom. <laughs> I, I don't think they, I don't think they make anyone else cry but me. <laughs> but uh, let's. Who, who else we got in the chat? Where the hell did they get resources? And what was in the food that that gave them in the first movie? In the second movie, where they fed the rover men on a plate, look like Lucky Charms. They look more like je- <laughs> They look more like jelly beans to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Paper yeah. plates. Yeah. <laughs> it was like sweets. Nah. Uh, uh, if I even better question, where the, where was the water? Where was the the liquids in the cups? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when Tom made that mess, there was like no water or any form of liquid uh, coming out of those cups. Oh my 
out of all the things to pick <laughs> apart from that movie, we pick about the food. <laughs> Literally, we've just spoken about the food in both movies at this point. <laughs> no, we were talking about the first, about the food in the first film. <laughs> and now we're just going to round it off by talking about the food in the second one, then we can end the video and then it's all good. No, you know, I should actually, that would be a great video to do, to, maybe I'll, as this is a segment afterwards, uh, like yeah. the food of the Dalek movies or something. Yeah. <laughs> the history of Dalek <laughs> food. History of Dalek food, and oh, whatever brilliant. form of liquid that they might have <laughs> had a lot. I don't know. But you don't. You don't want to know what that liquid is like. Dalek, Dalek mutants could produce any liquid. We don't. We don't know. I mean, if you try the liquid <laughs> in swamps, you will die. Yes. Talk about one pal. He tried it earlier. Didn't make it. Oh. Poor well, guy. That was. A, I loved that part in the first movie. Um, <laughs> oh, Stanley's gone. Uh, thanks for watching, Stanley. Uh, YouTube. Oh, uh, I haven't seen the second movie. Watch the second movie. Watch, oh, watch it. the second film. Nah. We're going to be spoiling the shit out of it for you. <laughs> well, I mean, if you've seen the TV version, <laughs> you know what happens. So yeah. Uh, Except Susan doesn't leave. Oops, sorry. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Put chocolate mousse. The food. The food looked like apparently. Yeah, I think we're just going to settle on that. Yeah, very melted yeah. chocolate mousse. Um. <laughs> Along with strawberry, banana, and mint flavoured. <laughs> okay, uh, alright, let's 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 go back on track with the actual movies themselves. I don't really know what I want to talk sure, about. Yeah. Uh, um, I... hmm. That one to the one Dalek tilting up when it was escorting Susan back to TARDIS. Oh yeah, Oh, everyone laughed at that in the cinema as well. Where like the top just fell off. No, no, it just slightly jumped off. Yeah, but it was probably like too expensive to refilm because like obviously it was shot on film and they had a lot ah, to shoot. Crap. Ah crap! I accidentally tilted up the Dalek. I think we should do another retake. No, we can't do another retake. This is the final day of our filming, and we've got to get it right this time. Yeah, they were probably all tired at that point and wanted to go home. Probably, uh, but I have no idea when that one was filmed. No. The one thing I love about the first movie, though, is the, the set design. Like Yes, the set looks it's, beautiful. Mm, it's so gorgeous. Put in a few lava lamps here and there, and you got me into Good it. Good to go. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's like the, the control panel as well in the main room. Like, it was massive. And it can fucking oh, turn. Yeah. It can turn. They couldn't do that in the TV TV series. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, they no, had a budget. Awesome. No, mm. instead they're just wires behind a glass frame. Mm. Don't don't break the don't spoil the illusion. You, you... People have already done that. <laughs> uh, the city control room from the first movie. I was just reading Deborah's comment. Um. Yeah. Anyone else want to take it away with the first movie? Give me a sec. I could talk about the uh, the the Dalek designs, but which ones are favourite out of the different colour schemes? And okay. Hierarchies and all that sort of stuff, maybe. Um, that's that's a tough the one. I'd say just the the standard drone from the first film, really, like the the mechanist one. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I think it's great how we have so many different versions. Um, so many different versions of Dalek in, but, uh, yeah, in both films, but particularly in the first film you know, it's not just your standard silver and blue from TV or whatever they really go to town with the idea of making them colourful and stand oh, yeah. out from each other Definitely. Um, yeah yeah, uh, yeah. I think I think my favourite is probably the 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 blue collar one yes. because of just how different it is uh, I love the blowtorch one uh, I, yes. I didn't. I didn't yeah. notice like how, like, no. dirty the casing was until it got pointed out. I never out. noticed I, that. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. What were you saying? Hello, Tom. I, I was saying I never noticed the dirtied up. No, no. Weathering. But it it, it kind yeah, of but, adds a new dimension I didn't to it. it popping it even there before that video showed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a little background character. 
Mm. Yeah, it was like it was like where's Wally, but it's a Dalek. <laughs> oh. Try to find it, and you'll win a prize. Well, what's your favorite then, Tom? If it is from the first movie, favorite design. <laughs> I can't pick because all of them were very good, in my opinion. I, uh, loved, I loved all of the color schemes. They're all beautiful. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. I yeah. might go for the blue ones because they were actually on the show. It's, yeah, I mean, there's that extra bit of oh, law yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and if it wasn't for that appearance, we wouldn't have the <laughs> official five inch figures. So yeah. there you go. Got that to be grateful for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing, the thing I always get into arguments with people about is. Um, like how colourful the Daleks were in the 60s but all of a sudden in 2010 that's a problem <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> no, totally. <laughs> yeah it's like somebody was trying to tell me that the paradigm looked vacuum formed but it's like look at the red Dalek from the movie that's like a glossy red yes like, yes. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean have you seen um, them do paradigm in movie colours like that's oh wow I don't think I've seen that no that's like next level paradigm kind of stuff colours. That must be pretty, yeah. It's on my I Twitter. Think I have. Uh, it's on my Twitter. I'll find it. Um, oh yeah, somebody did trading cards from. Uh, did you yes, see that? I yeah, saw that. that was really um, cool. I'll share that. Here we go. In fact, is it, is it in the chat? Maybe I think um, James Brinley is the name yeah, of the person who did it. James James in, or he was in the chat. Um, near the start. So, oh, yeah. wow. Shout out to James. There's some excellent stuff on uh, James' Twitter. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I, I saw you retweet um, something, I think, of his. Yeah. And then I just looked through everything he'd done and I was like liking every single thing. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, and they didn't have enough, they didn't have barely any likes or anything, so I'm glad to see that's now changed. I mean, yeah. it's one of the Dalek, oh, yeah. um, Blowtorch Dalek and stuff, like as big as which now has like 200 that, likes. Whatever. That so, was great, amazing. Great to see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I forgot about those custom trading cards things. They're cool. I mean, a lot of people have been doing like battles in time mockups, but yeah, yeah, bring them back, please, please. Uh, <laughs> Out of... You can well, if you can, want to, but hope. I'm not too fast. Richard, uh, I've, I'm sharing the screen now with the uh, the Paradigm movie colors. Have, have a look. It is. Oh, it's um, very cool. Yeah, you're still scrolly, scrolling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you just catch that maybe. There we go. Um, there we go. Honestly, I'm not too sure what I think about that. I, I think if this happened oh, it, yeah. on TV, then maybe people would have been a bit more accepting. Well, yeah. Find the original. Um, Don't be too sure. Well, yeah. What these fans <laughs> are like. <laughs> Whoever did the edit, though, did it. Amazing job. Yeah, they did a good job. Mm. They did a very good job. Oh, and James is on the chat saying guilty. Oh, oh we, yeah. we've got James. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Wait, James, were you already a viewer of my channel, or did you only see it because I followed you? That's inter I'd be interested to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fishing for compliments there, don't worry. Um, but yeah, beautiful uh, designs. Very cool. Did I retweet? Yeah, hang on. Sorry, this has turned into a Twitter fest now. Uh, okay, <laughs> right. Sidetracked, come on. This is why live streams right. are great. Uh, We're still talking about the movies, slightly. It still counts. But just as oh, yeah. Alex in, with the paradigm designs in those movie colors. Yeah. So it still counts. Oh yeah, I've seen the yeah. paradigm uh, animation by, was it Dalek Chris or whatever? I think he remade the BBC Dalek thing. Oh right, the Have you guys seen animation. That? Yeah, the animation, <laughs> like it's 4K right, and everything. Yeah, it's yeah. brilliant. Um, what was oh, it called? Wow. With the paradigm. Oh. Yeah, what was it called? The um, the Time of Victorious Dalek series. Was it just called Dalek? Uh, oh, it's just Daleks called... with an exclamation mark, wasn't it? God damn it! I was about to say that. <laughs> you beat you to it. <laughs> I was about to say, it's oh. just called Dalek! Put this in the post. Yeah. Here, here we go. For those of you who haven't seen, uh, support this guy's channel because it's amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm him as well. 
Oh, it's not wanting to play it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. All very, very movie inspired. Yeah. Cool. Love it. All right. So, uh, Peter Cushing, though. So let me know what you think about Peter Cushing because it's an interesting discussion topic because a lot of people disagree on Peter Cushing. Now, who in the fuck would say that? Like, I don't oh. did excellent. Honestly, I've seen a lot of people not like Peter yeah. Cushing's doctor. What? I know. Really? Hmm. Mm. Is, it because I mean, they, um, is it because they're more fans of the grumpy... Okay, I wouldn't really uh, call him grumpy now that I think about it because he did have a bit of character development. Hmm. The first Doctor. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree um, with that. Yeah. Uh, but no, let me, what do you think of Peter Cushing? I actually thought he did a good job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I'd agree with that. Good job mm. as his own Doctor. I mean, he's a great actor anyway, so I mean, he could pull something like that off well enough anyway. Mm. But despite the fact that he wasn't really a fan of sci-fi. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Found out, oh, mm. yeah. yeah. Despite the fact that he also did Star Wars. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> there's probably quite a handsome paycheck with that, so, you know. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, but then again, it wasn't really much. People just thought it was a, it was a bit silly when they were making the film. I mean, he was quite old at the time that <laughs> they started doing yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, but now he's being held there as a great masterpiece of our time. What, yeah, the, the Dalek movies Doctor or Star Who Wars? From, yeah, <laughs> kind of ruined Doctor Who from for many people. Mm. The more I think about it, because if it wasn't for Star Wars showing up, Doctor Who wouldn't be cancelled from Michael Grade. No, well, yeah, you could. <laughs> that is true. Uh, what about you, Richard? What do you what do you think of Cushing as yeah, Doctor? No, I, I think he's he's perfectly. You know, he's he's very lovable, very eccentric. You, you can't hate him, really. Um, I guess you do perhaps get the sense because like we were just saying it's like one role for him in a career which is obviously spanning loads of different stuff um, that you do perhaps get the sense that it's just like another uh, another role for him it's not necessarily I, I don't know I, I guess because it's only two films as well like mm. you don't get the chance to do as much with it um, or, or develop it or anything but no for, for what it is I think you know he, he does a perfectly great great job with it and yeah um, he, he's very doctorish, I think. Um, yes, I suppose he doesn't have as much of an edge to him like people have said, but uh, yeah, he, he sort of is what what you'd want, I think, in other regards, basically. Yeah, what works yeah. for me is whenever I have the mindset of of what it was like back in back in the nineteen sixties, yes, before sure. the regeneration, before yeah, Canada, yeah, was a time mm, lord. Mm. We all just yeah. thought that he was just a human being from the future, or just course, a yes. very clever scientist. I didn't think of it like that, but yeah, that that definitely yeah. puts it into perspective because, like, obviously, when they were writing the films, they only had that to base it off of. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. No, I thought he did. I, I thought he was really good in the role. Um, exactly. That's, that's yeah. my thoughts as well. I think uh, his dynamic with Susan was was really good. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So she did make that one question more song. Oh, the um, I forgot what it was called now. Uh, it's it's the it's not who's who. It's oh. Not that one. Oh yeah, someone oh, well, someone well, asked at the BFI, didn't they? Um, oh, what is it? Um, um I, I can't remember. But I remember someone asked In... her to do it at the BFI. Someone asked her to sing it. Ah. <laughs> uh, it who who's who? I'm just googling it. Who's who? Is that it? Who, who said, is Doctor no, Who's not that? Who's who. It was it was on the same disc as Who's Who, but if you turn it the other way. Oh right. Yeah, okay. it it was the second track on right. the disc. Ah. Yeah. The Doctor Who movies is a universe where time will still exist, Devon says. Yeah. yeah. Well I mean I subscribe to the uh the explanation from the fiftieth about how there were movies made from Ian and Barbara's okay. recollection. Uh-huh. But I mean, it well, it's just alternate universe at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, no, I, I think always, it's a nice I little always, thing. Yeah. yeah. I always, not gonna lie, but this might sound like a controversial opinion, but I always preferred the idea that Peter Cushing came up with to do with the Celestial Toy Maker 
Mm. I don't know yeah. why. I always thought that was an interesting idea. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was, it was yeah, kind of cool. I think um, in the comments section of one of the reviews that Miles and I have done, uh, Richard Coleman, who's obviously a regular viewer of this channel as well, he put a great um, big comment on there about, I think it was basically like a, an elaborating on that same sort of celestial toy maker idea. Um, so, yeah, it's an interesting sort of read about that and how it's sort of like, I don't know, this this, this other Doctor who's been made to like relive the other Doctor, like the real Doctor's adventures in this parallel universe or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. there's so many different theories about it, aren't there? It's, it's interesting to, to hear those. Yeah. No, I definitely think that's cool, but one other theory that I kind of had um, mm. was, you know, in Time of the Doctor, where the Doctor runs out of regenerations. Yes, and, and now it, that's no longer an issue. Now it's no longer an issue. <laughs> um, that's a that's a topic for another day. We won't go into that. Uh, but I yeah, kind of had a theory well, that if if Trends Law didn't happen, <laughs> if Trends Law didn't yeah. happen, Matt Smith Doctor would have aged into Cushing's Doctor. Ah, okay. I don't really know how you'd explain how he relives the same stories, but yeah, you know, that all could be dreams. That could be, could be dreams the doctor would have had. Yeah, a fever yeah. dream. Why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Like, like if, like if on Trenzel or there'll be times where he knew he was gonna die, and so whenever he sleeps, he would have these dreams of reliving his past adventures. That's cool. No, I like that. Yeah. Uh, that, I inc- that is oh. just an idea that just came to my head. Yeah. yeah. R- write a novel on that. Write a fan fiction. Uh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too lazy to do that. Uh, okay. Encouraging people who's watching in the chat, let, let us know uh, what you think of the movies and stuff and follow on with the discussion points because uh, I'd be interested to know what everybody thinks because, like I said, there's many d- differing opinions on the movies. A lot of people love You're them, a lot of people hate them. Up your houses and just fire extinguish them until we can tell Yeah. Us. Frog the haters! That's what the Daleks would say. Um, no. That, I, that was the worst Dalek impression ever because I got my headphones on and I can't hear myself. Anyway, anyway. First Dalek movie. Any more talking points you want to add? Um, the way um, the Daleks talked was a bit weird. Very slow. Yes. But I love the modulation it's, on them, though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, if I can recall, I think. I think it was Harry Alpha that actually actually managed to tell which one was Peter Hawkins and which one was David Graham. Yeah, I mean they they are quite distinctly different, and that's what yeah. that's what I miss about uh, the Daleks about how, them having different voice actors. Uh huh. Because like BBC, obviously, BBC do have a favour. Bring up Lee Adams. He and, might be available. Yeah, you know, I mean Nick Briggs himself did actually say that he has asked for somebody to do it with him. No. Listen to Nicholas Briggs for God's sake. Because, because like in Big Finish, I think there were like th- in one audio drama there was like three different Dalek voices. Right. And I just think that that would work so well on TV. Yeah. But I mean, considering they're not doing anything with the Daleks on TV, I guess they're not going to bother doing anything with the voices. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even though they're coming back. Oh yeah. But they're not going to do it. They're just going to like walk down the the cave and like say you are the doctor you must die and have, and have a hit one with a baseball bat mm. yeah <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna question how how the bat in remembrance got was destroyed, destroyed after, yeah. <laughs> yeah like yeah. how does that work yeah i mean are these data casings more weaker now that a regular baseball bat can do the job they're made out of fiberglass now they're not, they're not. They're not. They're not actually Daleks. The the props and the they're fake. Someone's fan film or something. Yeah, props. Yeah, yeah. They are. They are though. They are revived, three D printed ones. Yes, from. Mm, okay, makes sense. No, um. But not really. <laughs> but not really. Other things. Scores beautiful. Scores amazing in the film. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks. Love it. Oh yeah. Listening to yeah. the countdown while I was waiting. Hmm. I uh, maybe I should have put that on the live stream. Maybe I should have done that. Uh, I had to go, uh. Um 
but actually, yeah, I've put the um, the OST as a soundtrack for uh, the merch video, so that's going to be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good point. I just remembered about the countdown. The timing was inconsistent. <laughs> yeah, remember that, Richard. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you explain that. I do, yes. I'll let you yeah. explain that. Um... Of the countdown was inconsistent <laughs> because the, there was one yeah. moment where Dalek says, says 26, 25, 24, 23, <laughs> 22, and then when we go back to it, it says 24, 23, yeah. 22, and I'm yeah. like, I'm sorry, what? But when we saw it in the cinema, especially, especially yeah, it was um, it was hilarious. Well, it was like uh, yeah. 11, 10, 9, 8, <laughs> 7, 9, 8, 7. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so far, we've yeah. made fun of Daleks eating uh, mint ice cream. Uh, we've talked about Roberta Tovey being forced to sing the. Dalek thing, but she said no. Uh, and now we're talking about the Dalek countdown. You come to Mono Supreme for the quality reviews that you deserve, because you, you're not going to get you're not going to get this content anywhere else. No, because uh, all you just get is oh, this episode's amazing. I give it ten out of ten. Chibnall did another great. Yeah. Uh, I I feel like the, the the Chibnall consensus is very varied between the three of us, but that, that's that's a, a topic for another day. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. If you want yeah. if you want us to talk more about this Chibnall, go watch another black video. Yeah, maybe in the future we'll all like tear each other's hair yeah, out. Yeah, we'll have to discuss it. It's yeah. like here's an idea. After the centenary special happens, that's when we'll do it. That's when we'll do it. Uh, TPV figures is here. Um, Hang on, it's T. Oh yeah, TPV. Yes, uh, this, that's a Scottish uh, YouTuber. Yes, I remember. I remember your TPV figures. How are you doing, man? Um, Hope you're having a good day. Yes, likewise. Because we're not. We're talking about these movies. <laughs> Dude, come on, they're amazing. Uh, yeah, okay. I know. I'm <laughs> first one, round rounding off the first movie, I would give it a ten out of ten because it's just a beautiful movie. But the thing is, I'm not just saying that out of nostalgia, like. The score and the set design and like everything, the dark designs are just also good. So that yeah, it's yeah. a real treat. Mm. It's clear he's really being very biased with the film. Yes, <laughs> rose tinted spectacles and all that. Take those glasses off, for God's sake! <laughs> but no, uh, Richard, to round it off, the first movie. Uh, um, well, likewise, really. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a ten. Why not? I, I suppose if we want to do scores. This might come as a shock to you, but I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it an eight point five. Uh, Tom, I'm yeah. kicking you out of the. I'm kicking you out of the chat. Oh, you bastard! Mm. I just, I just think the film's better. I mean, I did. Oh, okay. I did until I saw them in the movie. So let's let's go into uh, into the second movie. So right off the yeah. bat. There we go. We needed that music transition. Richard, when's the medley coming out for that? The medley. Oh, oh. whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the... Well, um, you need to put you know. put something together. <laughs> yeah, we'll sort something. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should like all do like different bits, like. Yeah. I'll do, 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 do. Anyway, uh, okay. Second movie, uh, Dalek designs are inferior. Yeah. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah. I can't agree no, with totally, that, totally except totally. for the leader Daleks. Mm. The gold one is yeah. gorgeous. I love the gold yeah. one. I think the red um, one is stunning. Mm. Gold and red are probably the best two. The Termination, Wick the Termination Wickerswell Dalek is superior to them all because it has the black hemispheres. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, that, I I love that. I love that prop. It's great. Yeah, I mean, I made a, I mean, I sort of made a custom of it. Yeah, I, I didn't. You shared that with me at one point, and uh, yeah, I shared it with cool. you, but not with mm. Richard. Very cool stuff. Um, but yeah, I think plus the dro the drones. Plus it's my, plus it's my profile picture, but in black and white. Indeed, indeed. Uh, which is in the thumbnail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. But yeah, the silver Daleks. I was never really a fan of the. Um, the silver ones in this movie, it kind of felt a little bit lazy compared to the first ones. Yeah. 
I think you can kind of see why they wouldn't have brought the colour of the first one. I wouldn't have wanted to have as much colour just on the colour palette full stop, I guess. Because it's yeah. the more sort of bleak aesthetic. But yeah, at the same time, I, I don't know. It, it loses something, I think, by losing those original like drone Daleks. And by having Daleks that are more like the, the TV props, it just kind of loses something of that. I don't know, just that, that sparkle which made the first film so much of, of a sort of visual feast, I guess, compared to the TV version. It's, it's, it's a closer thing with this, I guess. Yeah, I, I definitely agree TV, with that. TV story. Yeah. But I guess there were, yeah, the atmosphere of the second movie was intentionally yeah, very different. Yeah, so, isn't it? Mm. Uh, and you will be exterminated. Thank I, God they actually said exterminate in this one. Yeah. You know, I don't. I don't. They really didn't in the set, in the first one. Did they not? No, oh wow! No, they, no. they never. I, I don't think they at once said the word the word exterminate. Wow! If someone in the chat, if anyone can back us up on that, let us know. But um, yeah, or I get the transcript up on the internet and I just type Control F yeah. and um, yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I don't know whether this was intentional. But I think like the the gold leader like was much dirtier. The prop was much dirtier, and especially seeing it in the cinema, you could really tell that it was. It definitely, I don't know. I don't know if it was intentional because obviously the the tone of the second movie was meant to be a bit grittier, but I don't know. That's just a little thing well, thought that I had. Well, you don't need to remember the fact that the gold leader Dalek was painted over black. Afterwards or before? Because, Hang on. Because, because it was the leader Dalek from Curse of the Daleks. Oh yeah. Of course. Right. So maybe that's why. Yes. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Uh, a, a sassy, th- sassy Slade. That is a cool name. <laughs> There's one. Mm. Cool. Um, and he calls us beautiful humans. I'm what? not a human, I'm a Dalek. Yeah, I mean, you can't even <laughs> see Tom, so you've turned off your Dalek modulation for the time being, but, you know. You no, will... I put the flame on the chocolate covered ice cream that's over my eye at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a Dalek, I'd be a foul. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, that, that couldn't have sounded more weird. You'd be the Dalek and I'd be the foul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, 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 heard, you heard it here first. <laughs> um, okay. You know, one thing I actually quite like about um, changing topic, Cushing's costume in uh, this one, yeah. is that he has a blue scarf. Yeah, the scarf. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't, it's like the most notable uh, difference. Like that, and when he wears the Robo uh, Man outfit as well. Yeah, that's like a subtle difference. The most notable differences between him in both films, really. Um, I guess. Yeah, I mean, oh, the trousers stuff as well. Trousers were different. Oh, the trousers. In the second film. Oh, right. I yeah, they, they were grey in that. the second film. Um, the first film, they were a bit more brownish tartan. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know about that. That's cool. Uh, I mean, sh- let's have a. I'll, I'll share the screen as well. Let's have a oh, look. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. What did you type in to find it? Because I'm lazy. Just I, I just put P- Peter Cushing Doctor Who um, into Google Images, and it's probably not the best images, but um, you can sort of I mean, see it. So it's like more so more yeah. brown in the first film, right? So more light yeah. brown, and then darker brown, grey in the second. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't look like that. Let's have a look. Yeah. I'm, I'm look. I can't really see because of all the lights behind me reflected on the screen. But that's that's the scarf. Very nice. Um, trousers. Very nice blue. Yeah, the trousers are different. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. They're... Yeah. Cool. And he's wearing gloves in the second movie weird, as well. Um, weird custom figure of him, which someone's trying to put into like the the packaging from the series eleven and twelve wave. Yeah, I think I've seen that. Yeah. Uh, I've seen that one before. Think... Yeah. That I looks bizarre. <laughs> Somebody send me it. I can, um, I'll put it in our thing. I'll try and put it in Yeah, put it in the chat and I'll have a look. Yeah. And then you're like, I'll have to do that. Yo. Um. Yo, look at that. (laughs) I thought, I thought that was real. But someone's done like a, I don't know what game this is. Is it Red Red, 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 Red Dead Redemption? Someone's done like a beta cushion. It's a speech jam with headphones on. I'm terrible. Um, (laughs) That is very cool. If anyone can see that. Uh, I can't see because I, nah. because it's just about to show. Oh, oh no! I've not seen oh. this one. 
uh, oh, no, I have not, I have not seen that custom render. Oh, I see which one you mean, yeah. Oh, I... right, yeah. There's, there's obviously oh, there's a bit of a oh, no, delay. It. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. Yeah, the delay. Yeah. Got that. <laughs> oh wow. Cool. Uh, you know, actually, I was I was the first person to do the um, the Cushing Black Series uh, custom. The oh. first person, because I pre-ordered the figure and like nobody else had done it. Hang on. I'm gonna rip off the head of this figure and give it a little mustache and just. <laughs> yeah, way to way to berate my work, Tom. Thanks. Wait, so this is like I, a Peter Cushing I Star Wars you, figure, right? I get it, why? Reddit, uh, my one is chicken. <laughs> That's because I've never done one. Here we go. Uh, basically, I mean, I copied Captain Jimmy Pie in the fact I used a seventh doctor body, but if it's if it were care to load, that would be nice, but it's not going to. Hang on. Load for us. There we go. So that that was my custom from back in the day. I have to wait for you guys to see it, and then I can move on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. That or I could very quickly go onto your channel and just find the video. But, um, you're too. There we go. So yeah. Oh I... yeah. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. A lot of people don't use the hands from the black series right. one because like it's the same color as his face, so I had to use the hands as well. Yeah. But um, uh -huh. yeah. But that that was the first one, guys. That was the first one using yeah. the head sculpt. So <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's not bad. Thank not you. Bad I mean, the head looks a little bit <laughs> too big for the body, but you know. Yeah. I mean, you should have gave it a neck. I should have done. But this was like, <laughs> this was four years ago, man. Give me some, give me yeah. some slack. Um, I mean, I mean, if you still have it, you can still give it a neck. It's it's in a box somewhere. I don't know where it is. Don't anyway, get it out of that fucking box already and give it a neck. <laughs> give me a night, boy. <laughs> we we went off on a tangent yet again. Order in the court. Order in the court. <laughs> I feel like a bit of an asshole in this live stream. <laughs> this is nothing like me. No, no keep it up because uh, <laughs> it makes it more interesting. It's working, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, second movie. Come on, guys. Um, uh, yeah. I, the, I don't like the I don't like the Rubber Man design. If I'm being honest, I think it's crap. It's uh, yeah, it's certainly very different. It's... I I don't know what I think of it really. It's um. <sighs> Yeah. yeah. It's, it's more generic, I suppose, isn't it? Like It's more like a generic sort of... They all look the same. Yeah, robot, yeah, yeah. Like Cyborg Man or whatever. Like, yeah. Like another sci-fi thing. It, it's I don't just, know. It's, it's not very unique. It's just twats in black jumpsuit. <laughs> no, wait. Hang on. <laughs> no, you know what? Have you seen the Dot Who, po Dot Who Poop Rose thing? The um, um, bald, bald twat oh, blue box. Um... Have you seen that, Tom? <laughs> No, a while ago, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not for a while. But so no, yeah. Much, but you mean, yeah. <laughs> so that was that was the Rob Men from this movie. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> but no, I actually really like the bit where um obviously it's ripped from the T V show, but the bit where the Rob Man mm. falls from behind the cowboy boxes. Right, yeah. That's kinda of like a uh -huh. a sinister kind of moment. Oh. Oh yeah, they nearly killed a bunch of chickens in the van scene. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. They did like loads of takes <laughs> because they almost killed Yikes. the chickens. Yeah, it's a snuff movie. Doctor in the Dark, <laughs> twenty one fifty is a snuff movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. That robot, that robot man was actually dead from behind the cardboard boxes. It, uh, yeah, God and yeah, Fleming I, I just. I wonder how did David manage to get them standing upright. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, they didn't know. It was actually legit. Okay, stay up, stay up. God and Fleming just said, right, um, Peter, just move those boxes out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, also, was the Dalek taking a bath in a river? Because yes. I have no idea what it was doing in the river to begin with. I mean, that's the fault of the TV story as well. <laughs> But <laughs> oh, I blame I blame whoever yeah. into the original script of the episode. I mean, only Terra Nation could come up with stuff like that. No, I think it was David Whitaker who wrote that part because. Oh really? Original, yeah, because the original ending for part one was for the ship to land, the door opens, and then Daleks come out. Oh wow! I did not and know that. That was the cliffhanger. Hmm. I think it was David Whitaker who did the. 
the river cliffhanger. That's cool. Yeah. Didn't know that. I learned that from Dardic6388. I, I'm clearly lack, <laughs> lacking on my Dardic6388 uh, knowledge. Ah. But, no, great videos. Amazing videos. Like, they're, they're oh, really good quality fantastic. videos. Yeah, yeah, fantastic ones. I wonder what he's going to do next. Mm, I feel like they've more than one person edits it. I mean, I could be wrong, but yeah. it certainly feels that way. Yeah, it feels very lie. professional. I kind of want to see him dive, I mean, dive into the new series. because Yeah, I'd like that as well. Classic. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because I wonder so I guess how the hell the moment, they, they just... went... Yeah, because I'm wondering how mm. the hell did they went from three props in the first series to four props for series two and then... Um, a few more props later on. I definitely feel like there's a, a lot of history for the new series props that they could dive into, yeah. but I, I I don't know. Maybe it just isn't as common knowledge as I don't know. Uh, TBV yeah, figures cool. says yeah. if I remember rightly, I can't remember where I saw it, but William Hartnell refused to see both movies. Oh yeah, because he didn't do them. Yeah, I mean it's a bit like. Yeah, he didn't want to see it because he felt like he could have done a better job. Yeah, I remember I they did consider casting the original cast for the movies. Yeah, but they were too busy with the TV series yeah. at the time, so they couldn't do it. Yeah, it it didn't really fit the tone of the, of the movies anyway, I don't think. I don't think yeah. they could have no. done that kind of thing. But... Mm. Okay, more more second movie stuff. Oh, the Slither's not in it anymore. Oh yeah, that's right. The yeah. Slither wasn't in it. I love the Slither. It's great, and he was not in the in the movie. It'd be nice to see. Yeah. In fact, that reminds me of something else as well. I think it was um, Review of Death that I was watching earlier. That I think it was them saying that obviously there's no like London location shooting in this compared to the first, like the, the original version. Um, which is something I hadn't quite noticed before. Like, I guess. Yeah, because. Yeah. It's they too far most... thing, isn't it? Like... Yeah, they mostly filmed at Shepperton. Like, yeah, yeah. I, mean, really I, th I think it basically all was, it? apart from the. Um... Yeah. From the you know, I, I never Wars thought of that. House. I never thought because, yeah. like, the original had yeah, Westminster Bridge as the iconic shot. Yeah, like Trafalgar Square and all that yeah, yeah. stuff, in it? Um, oh, so I guess that's something maybe that it loses, perhaps, but um, I suppose they make up for it, in a sense, with all the now amazing the, set design and stuff. So. Now I'm thinking but, about the film gets a 3 out of 10 because it doesn't recreate the famous London scene. The, London but the, Bridge the thing is, though, I think it was yeah. probably a good choice yeah. because could you? they didn't have the mm. budget to like set-dress London, like put destroyed mm. monuments in... Uh, the middle of the city. Yeah, plus, that's true. Yeah. True. Plus, yeah. the coppers weren't really happy that there was Dalek graffiti marks all over London. Is that true? <laughs> oh no, yeah, no. It is true. Really? That was, that was true. Oh, that's. The coppers weren't really happy about them putting Dalek marks around London. I don't know that. That's cool. I've actually learned a lot then, from this. Yeah, but then again, this was. It's still during the early days of Doctor Who, it was like yeah. they they just started filming the second season, mm. and Dark Mania wasn't at its height at that point. Oh, Cam Cameron's here. How are you doing? Oh. Uh, Cameron Hello. Cardona. Uh, Hello giving away a paradigm skirt to a friend. Um, wow. I, I hope that's on its way to me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Honestly, I am literally the ambassador for the Paradigm Daleks at this point, I think. And I'm just that as well. Did you see um, the other day someone's got hold of like a Dalek, a yeah, Paradigm Ice? Or I, I did see yeah, that. I think, or something. Did you see that? Yeah. I, yeah. I have not. No, I have not. <laughs> you know, it's really tragic, like the story behind it. Like, didn't they just uh, dispose is this, is them... of... Yeah, I, mean, I, I, well, the I story. The photos, I don't really know where, it, like how he got hold of it or anything. Do you know any more, more about that? I'll, I'll look it up, hang on. Uh, yeah, I, we can have a look at my argument I had with some people. <laughs> um, yeah, I find, I find no. the whole story about the Paradigm Daleks to be upsetting. Now they were being built up to yeah. these new Daleks, and then the fans happen. Yeah, they spend thousands. Them. They spend thousands on creating these props, yeah. and then they just don't use them again. Yeah. And it's, yeah. It's but the worst part shot, was yeah. is that they, the during series five and series six, they fucked up three props. Did they? 
Which ones? Hang on. Do... Oh yeah, the w- the wedding, the ribbon song, and two stone dogs. Yeah. 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 I mean yeah, that. They have two left, right? Yeah. yeah. Completely fucked up those two. I mean, I mean those three props. I guess that kind of sums up like the lack of planning on the uh, the, yeah. the part of the BBC because like they didn't just make no right. This is stupid because sorry, rant coming. Um, it's really stupid Go because. Ahead. It would make more sense and it would be more cost effective to make two new props for the, the stone Daleks because you just cast I mean, you cast them in grey fiberglass and then you just put stone yeah. texture on them. Like that's way more cost effective than ruining two props that you made. Like that's I mean, so stupid. Them yeah, it's so stupid. They made they made five other props. Yeah, they made the, the live props. Like Exactly. They could have had them do yeah. it. Yeah. But hey, Dalek six three eight eight. If you are watching this, give us the whole backstory on the paradigm <laughs> props because it is it's very interesting. Because there's nice, isn't it? yeah 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 because of how underused they were. Mm. I mean, I don't think it'd go down well because like people still hate them for some reason. But <laughs> anyway, uh, if you, I'm not too sure about that at the moment because there were people. I mean, I would call on one channel. They asked the question, "What is your controversial Dalek opinion?" Yeah. And the one that got the most votes was the Power Down Daleks should come back. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm amazed by that as well. This faith. Uh, okay, let me just have a look at this. If you wouldn't travel to Cardiff and go rescue something as beautiful as this, are you even a Doctor Who fan? Yes, they are real, and I promise I didn't get them through dumpster diving. For anybody <laughs> interested, uh, I believe the Pydorian. Uh, Pydonian, that's yeah, the guy who makes the CGI Daleks, and James Blowers have cracked it. It's the eyepiece of the Eternal, specifically from Victory. Every other appearance has a different eye, which suggests it was replaced, and why it has no eye stalk. That is sad. Um, anyway, a little bit of a cool little thing for you guys. But uh, let's go back to 2150. What else can we say? Purple Daleks. Purple? What? The black one was going to be purple. That's cool. I didn't know that. That's why you watch Dalek 6388, ladies and gentlemen. That's crazy. Could you imagine a purple... A purple Dalek? Just imagine, in the film, instead of the black Dalek, you just get a purple Dalek. Interesting. But I don't think it would really suit the aesthetic, though. So. Yeah, maybe that's why they didn't use the purple dark after all. Mm. Cool. Um, the countdown timer is a lot less stupid this time. <laughs> and this is one of the reasons why Chris Chibnall should have watched the episode. Why? Because, Did... <laughs> because it flat out states what RELs are. Oh yeah, rel- RELs. This was the first time now, that RELs was... How long's a REL? Fuck off, Jody. <laughs> How long is a row? Is it just seconds? It's the Dalek equivalent of seconds. No, I, I know that, but yeah, yeah. Oh, as in, like, it is actually a second. I, I didn't know whether it was, yeah. like, a... Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Um, other stuff. Richard, have you got any hot, more hot takes for this movie, or have we... Is Richard still here? Richard? Um, Richard died. Dalek Gollum. Uh, I'm gonna message him. Uh, what happened? When when we were talking about the purple Dalek. Yeah, we were talking about the purple Dalek. Then you just stopped. Richard. I mean, he's still in the still in the call. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a break screen up, guys. We'll uh, we'll get this sorted. Uh, so we'll see you guys in a minute. Cue the Sonic Heroes music. <laughs> I think it could be having bad connection. In fact, during the break, I'm gonna very quickly get myself a drink. Oh, there we right. go. Can you hear me? I'm yeah, back. Oh, great. I'll yeah. Be back. We're on a break Fantastic screen. view. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. Uh... Yeah, yeah.
I'm back. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the hell, um, I'll show up the custom dot I was referring to earlier I made. I was just watching um, some of it back. I think there's like a bit of a issue with the audio, maybe like sounding a bit crackly. Um, I'm not really sure. Like it was, I think that's why I ended up losing. Like you ended up losing me because I tried to see if it was me, and I don't think it, I don't know if it is or not. Um, but like you two, like your voice was sounding a bit crackly to me, and then when I've just been watching back the stream. It sounds like it's come across on there as well. Um, um, possibly. I mean, yeah, it's definitely there later on. I'm not sure about earlier. Um, was also broke on that and having a hand over the weed. I am not making that up. Oh, yeah, that was in the Dalek Mania documentary. Thing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and now we're just going to. Wow, it's amazing. Um, and they didn't have. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's nice. Wait, hang on. No, you know what? Have you seen the Doctor Who po- Doctor? <laughs> it's the eyepiece of the Eternal, specifically. Leave it. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've all, all right. been <laughs> muted during the break. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh great. Uh, okay. Actually, yeah. I. Don't, I they might not have heard me. I think they just heard you. Anyway, no, we're, we're back from our you. we're back from our break. Um, okay. Right. So sorry about that, Richard. Richard just got cut off. But we don't know why, but it's uh, we're all sorted now. Yeah. Everything's good. Um, back now. Ah. Okay, I'll just. Um, and also, you forgot to cue the Sonic Heroes music. <laughs> oh, did did it? <laughs> was there no music what, in the it? in the break screen? No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> All of us talking. Oh no! Oh, why did that happen? <laughs> oh. Anyway, we didn't. I say... literally said, "Cue the Sonic music." No. When you said we were going on the break. It was. It was meant to, but for some reason, oh, it didn't no. play. I. I don't know why. Uh, uh, okay, right. Richard, got any hot takes on this movie before we move on? Um. Um. I guess we've just about covered most of it, really. Um. Yeah, it's just not not as colourful, not as vibrant, but then you can sort of understand why. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing it again. Um, yeah, just yeah. to see. Yeah, cause I won't be focusing so much on the sort of stuff you focus on when you're seeing it for the first time. So I'm looking forward to seeing it again. Yeah. Cool. I mean, it definitely that. has rewatch value. That takes me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, a lot of that's nostalgia for me, but you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've got a hard take. 
for the oh, film. Ah, go on, go on. <laughs> it needed far more explosions in it. Yeah, I'd agree with that. <laughs> yeah, especially okay. the blockade scene. It needed more explosions. Hmm. Oh, do, do you uh, can you recall the toy used, or whether? It... Do you know when they're getting oh, like, like sucked in from the the magnetic core yeah. of the earth? Like for one of the frames. Well, for one of the little yeah. segments, oh. there's a toy. I don't know whether it's um, a, a mass-produced toy uh, or whether it was like a specially built prop. I can't remember. I think it was a specially built prop. Mm. Look because at my drink. It, did, <laughs> it looked nothing like any of the toys that were out around the time. Interesting. Has well, either of you got yeah. it up? No, I'm um, remembering it from... No. Cause it's not, I don't think it's on the Dalek I mean, 6388 website. Right. <laughs> Which, um, I'm trying to remember which toys were available at that time. There was um, the ones from uh, Power of the Daleks. I can't remember who made that. Um, right, yeah. Um, there was even the ones from... The, the ones that was used in Evil of the Daleks. Those oh, the, the, uh, the Marks. The Louis Marks ones. Yeah. Louis yeah, Marks, the, the Marks. right, yeah. Mm. Which were very movie-inspired. Uh, in, fact, cool. in fact, I just remembered. I have the movie on my on my DVD player, and it's connected to the laptop. I can. Oh, I can <laughs> you can give us some footage. Oh, yeah, give yeah. us some footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... uh, Power of the Daleks remember. ones were the Hertz Daleks. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On six three eight eight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you looked at the uh, the movie on six three eight eight? I'll here. have a look. See if anything there. Um, Dark Explosion. Uh, Um. No, I can't see. I can't see the toy. No. Um. That's kind of. I'm kind of a little bit disappointed. Uh. <laughs> They're meant to put. They're meant to catalogue everything, and there's, the toys not there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm um, sure they'll they'll get around to it eventually. Get around. <laughs> oh, they man. always find uh, other little niches to fill. Oh here! Oh there we go. There was actually two. There was the one falling down the mine shaft, which uh, Tom was saying oh, yeah. here, uh, and there was one, like I said, when they were getting sucked in, like it smashed against the wall and it exploded. I'd, right. lo I'd love to know what where those are now. Well, they've probably been destroyed. They're probably not. Uh, yeah. You can't have them anymore. But um, yeah, I don't know if they they were specially made or still. Maybe it's like a, uh, an instance, like in Victory, with the prototype um, toy. You know the the war cabinet rooms. Yeah. I, maybe that kind of thing, but. Hey, I I I love them using Dalek toys in uh, on the TV show, like in Into oh, the Dalek. Yeah, Into the Dalek, uh... I love that. Oh yes, yeah, that was brilliant. Yeah, there, there's a special type of charm, isn't there, to, to mm. seeing them? Like obviously, you, you can tell that it's not the right proportions or anything, but it's just it's just it's it's it doesn't really matter, does it? Because it's just it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, love I mean, it. the, the yeah. director Ben Wheatley like is a massive yeah. fan of these movies, so. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Right. Mm. Well, there we go. That's where the, the homage comes from. Yeah. Uh, then the red one falling down the mine shaft as well. And yes, that's the silver yes, one I was course, talking about. Of course. Uh, that's the silver one I was talking about. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Bizarre, because it doesn't actually really look much like a Dalek. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you only see it for a split second, so you, you don't notice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh. Hang on, uh, let me just. I've ignored the chat, sorry. Um, Alright. Um, uh, uh, best Dalek has to be the first red one. Yeah, uh, well, either that or the. Well, all of the ones from the first movie just look gorgeous, don't they? I yeah. can't choose. I can't choose. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> the guy in the wheelchair when the dirt rubble fell, it was a dummy. You know, somehow. I, I, don't, I don't disagree with that because it's almost as if they wouldn't throw rocks on an actor. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, 
Okay, it was much uh, better than the one with the silver slats. Some people said that they have been the gold and black one. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with that. But, um, okay, smashed it. Not Naughty Boy Cameron. Uh, that one was full-sized, I believe. The one that gets set on fire froze was identical to the model black one. Yeah, I think we've established that there's probably three. Oh, shit, sure, I those. just... I just realised I was on mute this entire time. And I wasn't oh, I was, I was wondering oh, where you've yeah. gone to. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I just realised that. Mm. Uh, so I kind of have, I kind of have a bit of a hot take on Dotman's death. I can't tell which death I found a bit funnier of Dotman <laughs> dying, either the one from uh. the movie scenes or the one from the movie. Oh, with the with the wheelchair, like with the wheel, yeah, with that, the wheel spinning, yeah, the wheel spinning at the end, like he pulls it and it's like. Dead. No, it was like no. It's either the one from the TV series where he got a, he gets out of his wheelchair, puts a few bombs, decides he's going to do a few stack ups, and then just fails <laughs> after one push up. <laughs> one I can do. Twenty five. Go on. Yeah, and then the movie he just gets rocks chopped on him. Yeah, and that just somehow kills him. <laughs> Yeah, I can't tell which one's fine. I should put a poll in the chat. Can how do you do, do you know how to do that? Ooh, I have no um, idea. How do, you do, how do you do that? I th I think you're the only person that can do it because it's your channel. But oh, yeah, there should are. be a button maybe somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so which Dortmund death was better? <laughs> uh, push up, oh. failed push up, or rubbles? TV, film. There we go. I'm asking the community which one they think was better. Um, but no, uh, to, to wrap up the, the second movie, growing mm. up I always preferred that one, but like I yeah. said, in seeing it in the cinema kind of completely changed my opinion. Um, mm, that's interesting. Which yeah. is I thought... really weird. I mean, is there anything in particular that changed your mind that, that we haven't already mentioned? Or, I think, or... uh, I, still think it's the, I think it's the better one of the two. Right, I mean, I think from like a, a structure perspective, I, I don't know, the second one, it kind of feels just a little bit too fast. I think it's just because that story, that story, I I'm not a massive fan of the, the st TV story anyway. Sure, yeah. Um, Same. Yeah, it's, it, it's obviously an invasion done on like a BBC budget, and like it's obviously not yeah. going to be amazing. Uh, I'd love them to remake it now, but, you know, I don't think that, yeah. that would happen. Of course, as we're all <laughs> still on Earth. Um yeah, of course. Yeah, mm. I don't know. I, th I think it's just because the first one's just more vibrant, and I think the characters yeah. are just a lot more likable in the first one. Like Roy, Ca yeah, Roy Castle, I, I, I can get that. Mm -hmm. Is just such a, an icon. And oh yeah, yeah. I I'm having to go with the first one at this point. Yeah, I'm. I'm sticking with the second one. Okay. For me. Yeah. Why? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. Well, I mean, explain. No. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone else. Because, <laughs> because I think, I think the story of of Daleks invading Earth works better as a movie than it does yeah. to a six part long story. Because yeah, yeah. If you have it I agree in with six that. Parts, course, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have that story but done in six parts, then it feels like it drags a little bit. Mm -hmm. But if you do it as a movie, then it doesn't feel like it's dragging. I mean, I guess it could kind of work in like a. A Walking Dead kind of way. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, but in the sixties, nah. <laughs> nah, mm. not with that kind of budget. No. Uh, okay. But what about you? Thank Rich? God. Uh, Cause yeah. and thoughts on the film. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of people say that sort of even if they prefer the first film, that the second film that is still like from a technical point of view or from like the scale of the number of sets and everything. Oh, yeah, I've yeah. Seen, seen people sort of say that, you know, it still has all that going in its favor. And so technically it's probably the better film. Um, I've seen people say that and yeah, I, I, can, I can get behind that. So certainly, you know, by no means is it, am I, you know, trying to, um, so it's bad or anything. Yeah. I mean, they're both very different. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing it again, really, to try and appreciate yeah. it a bit, a bit more. Um, I, th I think that's kind of the thing, yeah, though, basically. That, what to mm. remember, like, they are completely different films. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, because, like, the continuity they're, they're from the first things. one to the yeah. second one, it doesn't really feel like much of a continuity, because, like, all the Doctor says is, oh, I saw them in the future. And it's like, that, that, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. it was like, yeah. TARDIS, 
Tardis took us uh, home, her and the Dalek Scarrow. Yeah. But that must have been at some point in the future. Those Daleks could travel on metal. These ones... Shit, where was my line again? Oh, I'm not about the point. <laughs> That's kind of what happened. Yeah. But, you know, they're yeah. both fun. They both have their own merits. And, you know, they're just uh-huh. nice. Anyway, I oh, think yeah. we've probably talked about the these two uh, to death. Um, yes. yes. Especially you, Richard. You and Miles have done, like, two half-hour yeah. videos. <laughs> I haven't stuff, even so. talked about it for this month. <laughs> so at least I got my opinions out of the way. Yeah. There we go. But this is the thing I was looking forward to, and I think I, th- I think Richard, I think you'll be looking forward to this. The uh, the yeah. mission of doom stuff. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm waiting to talk about this. Yes. How much do you? I, I mean, I I don't really know anything about this to be honest. Okay. I'll, I'll just put it out there. So so enlighten me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In fact, like, let me just come on, Tom. Let's do it. Let, uh, let me just send you a link to. Uh, a good video about it. There we go. Right. Uh, I will put. I'll put it at zero, <clears throat> and we'll watch the whole thing because, and we'll comment over it because. Yeah. Though. <clears throat> though there is a bit okay. of a long intro that goes on for about a minute, and I mean for about a minute, like. I don't, yeah, I don't... exactly a minute long intro. It's then fine. it gets to the footage. Well, uh, everyone get it at zero. So it's the one that's five minutes thirty nine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got it. You got it up, Tom? Yeah, I got it up, but I skipped the intro. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, well... Okay, so let us all watch at the exact same time. Okay, I'm just showing off the pictures to the, the guys looking. Uh so there's a couple of model pictures, there's a couple there's a Mekon, Mechanoid. Uh where where are we starting at? That Dalek army is gorgeous. I love it. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a gorgeous army. <laughs> and yeah, it's worth saying that these are all what were these like fifth scale? They were they were like about about knee level, I would guess. I have no idea. Mm. No, that would be too big. I don't think it was stop motion. I think it was like just. Filmed. It was like an armature yeah. production. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fifty eight seconds, I think, is. Right. Yeah. Point, right? yeah, all yeah, are all of us at the start of the video. I, I've just moved well, it to fifty eight seconds. Yeah, we're going going from fifty eight, right? Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, let me just get to fifty eight. Okay, now I'm at fifty eight. Cool. I'll count as in three, two, one. Go. Right. Da da da. Sorry, I won't say. God, I, I honestly recall watching the shit out of this. Well, out of a video about this, it's just a... being, just being influenced by the model making and the views and yeah, the yeah. gorgeous Daleks. Yeah. It's 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 amazing. Like it was. Li- it was just him, wasn't it? Was it just the one guy? Yeah, it was just it was just him, and I think a few pe- few other people. No, I think it was just him. It's insane. I feel bad for him at the moment because he's homeless. I, I thought, I thought he did. He? Did he oh. pass away recently? No, he didn't. He became homeless. Oh wow. Oh. I feel bad for nice. him. Somebody, somebody needs to go find him and help him out. Hmm. Where, where's the talent? Because like, oh. Such a I, very creative. Game. I mean, watching the, I mean, watching this footage shows how much talent he has in this production. Mm-hmm. And I'm just there, like, how come the BBC has not hired him for things that isn't like just design. the Dalek? Yeah. yeah, for things that isn't just the Dalek Emperor for more than thirty years in the TARDIS. Wow, I didn't know he was behind that, so that's cool. Uh, well, it's on this website. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, we never actually get to hear the dialogue, though. As in, it's literally just no, there was... raw footage. Mm. Yeah, there was even a teaser he had on his MySpace. Uh. <laughs> but... Oh, that's going back a fair bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wow. tried to use the Wayback Machine to watch those videos, but they wouldn't load for the life of me. 
Uh, you want to know something annoying? I didn't share my screen. You can't ah. map it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pause it, and I'll just... Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just rewind back to... to... 58 seconds. Yeah, okay, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm playing now, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm so good at doing that. So take all that commentary we just did and just put it over this. Dump it. Dump it all over that. Mm. I want to know how he had the space to film it, though. Like, he made massive sets for Yeah, it. I want to as well. <laughs> yeah, in fact, there were even times during my school time, there were, like, times where I told the teachers because I was doing media with cameras and such. Yeah, there were a few yeah. times where I was like, I want to make, I want to recreate this film. Mm -hmm. The only issue I had is that the mechanist Daleks became the shit. No, well, you'd have to just, you'd have to make them from scratch, though. To, to, to get to and this level. And that takes a lot of time. It does. Which I don't have. <laughs> unless it was a holiday. And if I had loads of time. But I unfortunately don't. But no, uh, like the aesthetic of this, like you can tell that it's obviously inspired by the first movie. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. And I like how we you. I mean, how he did the first movie, Red Dalek. Go on. For this. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't going into much detail. I was just saying how much I loved how he used... I mean, how he created the Red Dalek for this. Which was it goes, it goes just on the a first Because <laughs> it's the raw footage, it's not really been... Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit pixely in a few edges. I'm kind of I'm skimming through it a little bit. Uh, the behind the scenes stuff, I'm making the Daleks. That's cool. Uh, cool. Oh, if you look at the last picture, like that's gorgeous. Uh, right at the end of the video. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, even, oh, yeah. yeah. The person even who made this video even used footage from the documentary Dalek Mania. Because right, yeah. clips of the Mission of Doom was used for the documentary. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's how I heard yeah. about it. Yeah. 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 Strangely enough, there's two versions of that documentary. Yeah. The one on the on the Dalek Collection DVD, it is the shortened version. Also, I've I've seen the the shortened one this my entire life. Well, I yeah, feel, I feel shortchanged. I've <laughs> seen both versions of it, and the long version is easy to find on the internet. Okay, it's I'll, I'll track it down. I'll track it down. Um, like but, a quick yeah. Google search away. But what, what do you think, Richard, of uh, the mission? The mission of Doom. Yeah, no, it's uh, very interesting. Um, if I, I think now, yeah, now, now having seen some of this, actually, yeah, it does ring a bell from um, Watch Dark May the other day. So yeah, mm. um, yeah, I want to find out more about it. Really, I'm just googling it. Um, very impressive. Yeah, and one, that one beautiful dude. shot of all of the Daleks in one room. Yes, two feet oh, tall. Yeah. Two feet tall. Yeah, they were two feet tall. I remember them saying that. Two feet tall. Right. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. That is insane. I mean, <laughs> you can just tell from the the detail on it that they're that big. Because you know, imagine doing that at like one thirteenth scale. That'd be a nightmare. Um, yeah. Wow. Stanley's back. Uh, That's good. How have you been? What What's my take on? Hang on. Why wasn't Ian and Barbara in the second movie? Yeah, well, we never found out, really. I have a bit of a dark theory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doctor Who landed on a planet, 
Ah. He, him, him, Ian and Baba walked out, hmm. and he discovered a rock, a rock, and he just bashed their heads in. <laughs> no, yeah, he only did that because he couldn't risk anybody finding out that he had a time machine. Yes. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah. He didn't think it through when well, he we, said, uh, "This is my TARDIS." Maybe those those Romans at the end of the first. Film yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just yeah. killed yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, just leave them to <laughs> now, now, that, <laughs> now that we all know that that the first Dalek story took place in the past for the Daleks, and that invasion of was at some point in the future. I, I wonder how that. Oh shit! We have sea level. See yeah, I was gonna say we have we have royal yeah, yeah. we have royalty in the chat. How are you doing? Oh, <laughs> we have royalty. Sea Devil oh. Lagoon owns a full size full size paradigm Dalek. Mm, mm. You are a legend, you know, and I'm very jealous of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all honesty, I'm gonna have to say about Sea Devil Lagoon and Mission of Doom inspired me to make Dalek stuff. Nice. Yeah, I mean, Sea Devil Lagoon's been an inspiration to me as well, so... Oh, yeah. I can hear myself. Echo. Huh. Echo. Oh dear. We can't have that. Um, but no. Uh, oh, I just moved myself in OBS. Sorry, I'm, I'm running out of... <laughs> I, my, I'm, my, my brain's, brain's seeping out of my ears at this point. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, let me just read what he said. Uh, Julian told me that there's a documentary mm. about fan films on one of the real-time picture DVDs with potentially unseen uh, footage of Mission, not part of the Dark Mini documentary. Well, that's cool. I mean, it'd be nice if somebody, like, collated it and put everything together somewhere. Um, fiberglass. Also... Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, which one exactly? Which one? I which, mean... Which of the real-time DVDs? Which one? Remind me what real-time is. Did they do... Um, it's like... I think there were like those unofficial documentaries things. Okay, I, I mean, think. yeah, I I know of it. I can't really remember what they did. Um, well, I give them credit. At least it's not B and B. BBV. Yeah, BBV. Do you guys want to hear a funny down. story about BBV? Go on. Uh, well, I don't. Really... <laughs> okay, I got asked to review one of their audio stories. Ah, yeah. And I, I don't really want to stir much, but you know, uh, I kind of, I got I got sent it and I listened to it and yeah. <laughs> and then I that's got that's the review. <laughs> that's that's the review. I got asked, "Oh, yeah. where, where's the review?" and I I just didn't reply oh. because I was kind of in shock about what I just listened to. <laughs> what was and it? It was the um it was, oh, it was it wasn't audio. It was a visual thing. I remember it was like the guy oh, vlogging, right. the guy wow. vlogging about alien artifacts and stuff. Ah, and it was so long. It I think there was like an hour's worth of content of some guy on his phone documenting. Ooh. And I, I watched all of it. Wow. So there you go. That, <laughs> that's the review. That's the review. I watched all you, of it. You wait. <laughs> I I think oh, I might have fallen asleep yeah. to be honest. Honestly, the only uh, one I've seen is Shakedown: Return of the Sontarans. Oh, Shakedown! Yes, I remember back but in the day. If you're somebody, to... yeah. yeah. But if you're somebody like me, you would pretend that that one never existed. Mm-hmm. I love the designs, <laughs> though, of the Shakedown Sontarans. Yeah, the Sontarans. The, yeah. yeah, the Sontarans yeah, designs were the only good thing about it. Mm. Everything right, else was yeah. shit. Uh, <laughs> it, it was wartime. Apparently, was the um, the documentary. Wait, wait. Right. Oh, the, the BBB thing. Wait. Yeah, the the real time thing. Yeah. I think I might have heard it. Oh, the real time one. Yeah. Mm. It rings a bell then. To mm. Amazon I go to. To Amazon. Convince to convince my siblings. Right. To yeah. yeah. How many people we got? I, I'm interested. Seven. Hey, thanks for sticking around, guys. Um... <laughs> Oh, the wartime chronicles. Interesting. Currently unavailable, bastards. <laughs> You'll find it somewhere. Um, no, I was, no, I said I found it, but it's currently unavailable. Uh, bastards. Oh, that's interesting. Very cool. Very cool. 
I mean, the thing is, I just love fan productions anyway. Like, I just, I just. So do I. Yeah, Richard, when are you going to do another action figure story? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cracking! Um... <laughs> I get the same Don't question. That, I, really. I get the same yeah. question quite often. Oh well, no one's asked me for a while, so oh. um, no, that's the first time. But no. <laughs> I mean, uh, no, probably never really. But oh, it would be shame. cool to go back to. It would be nice maybe to do something because do it's short. literally been ages. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe. It would, it would be fun to, to dabble in it again. Um, the thing permission is, to make a voice cameo. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll, sp- I'll speak to you guys about this later, but I, I do want to get like um, a fan audio mini series going at some right. point. Yeah, because I mean, Miles's um, audio yeah, adventures yeah, are absolutely is. amazing. Like, yeah, I'm not even saying that because I know him, but like, seriously, they're great. Yeah, yeah. Like, I I genuinely forgot that they were fan made. Like, they just they're just great. Yeah. Who did the uh, the art for those? Did Miles do that? It's um, I don't know if she's done it all the way through, or but certainly for the most latest, the latest, most recent ones. Um, do you know? Carrie, who's on Twitter, the person doing all the um, you know, the Redux stuff at the moment. Um, oh, is that them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I recently started doing Big Finish stuff as well, actually. Uh, I think Miles got her before she started doing Big Finish, and now, um, yeah, but she's she's still doing both. Um, yeah, and they're so, so royalty. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, we got ten, the most viewers we got now. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay, <laughs> people watching, uh, to round it off, just ask us anything in the chat, and we'll we'll answer it. Uh, anything yeah. to do with the Dalek movies? That's I, the I think we've I think we've spoken about the Dalek movies a lot now. I think we've <laughs> talked about it extensively. Oh uh, uh, yeah, because this is an entire month of the Dalek movies, so you're going to be hearing it left, right, and center. Yeah, I'm sick of them now. After that merch video, I never want to see another movie Dalek ever again. Too bad. <laughs> You know what? And I was going to say I'll share a little teaser with you, but I know I don't want to spoil the video, so I won't. Huh. Uh, yeah, but like I said, tomorrow, if all goes well, tomorrow evening, the merch video should come out. Uh, hmm. It's it's going to be in 4K, which it wasn't originally, but it's going to be in 4K, um, so make sure oh, you watch it at the highest resolution yeah. you can. Uh, usual. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, how many other YouTubers do 4K stuff? I don't. I don't think many others do. No, I think I'm the main guy, to be honest. <laughs> but not, I, I tried yeah. it out a little bit earlier this year, but I, yeah, the file size was just too big for me yeah, to, really, yeah. to make it practical. But I, it was a shame because I, I noticed a difference and it was nice. Uh, but I don't know how many people actually watch it in 4K. But I know certainly that's for, like, future proofing and stuff, it's nice, isn't it? So, mm. yeah, I don't know. I was paid for doing it, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, we've. Uh... TBV figures gave us a question. What what is your take on the flamethrower Dalek from in the first movie? I mean, we did cover it earlier. But, yeah, we uh, talked about it earlier. Yeah. If you want to hear my extensive thoughts, then go back in the video. But I'll briefly say that yeah, it's probably my favorite design from the first movie. Uh, I think it's uh-huh. great. Uh, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, where was I? No, I was I was on a four K. Four K, yeah. Uh, I think well because I do videography anyway. Like I obviously yeah. just film stuff in 4K because well that's what clients want, and it looks yeah, the best. Absolutely. And I've got a short film coming yeah. up soon, which is going to be in 4K too. And like when you watch it on a 4K TV, it's you know, it's just I, I feel like people don't really get the difference between 1080 and 4K yet, and it's kind of a, a bit of a shame. Yeah, and no, it yeah. still like needs to sort of penetrate the the wider public, I suppose, doesn't it? But yeah. I suppose eventually, eventually, I, it, it will happen. Mm. Um, mm. I mean, yeah. it, it's like the the London vlog. Like it just made everything pop much better. Yeah, oh, because yeah. Um, the thing is with 4K and editing 4K footage. Like if you put color correction on 4K footage, like imagine it like a paint wash. Like it gets into the cracks of the thing. Mm. Like on an action figure, yeah. that's what the the yeah. color correcting does to 4K footage. Uh, yeah. Sorry, very nerdy, but you know that that's just. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we love it. <laughs> uh, that's why the movies look so good in 4K because it, it, the detail oh, yeah, just, the like, just looks just yeah. looks stunning. Um, mm. Stanley says, "If I do make a channel, what should I call it?" That that is on you, my friend. Um, call it Stanley Creates. No, um, 
<laughs> I don't know. Would it be Doctor Who based? Because uh, okay, okay, this is an interesting point, which uh, I'll ask. I'll ask you first, Richard. Um, okay. For someone starting off making a YouTube channel, well, what should yeah. they do? Um, uh, I I guess. Well, yeah, everyone will say sort of do what what you enjoy, uh, what you're passionate about, but then. <laughs> At the same time, I guess, do something which you think people are going to like. Like, there's an audience for, I guess. It's, it's a tricky balance between those two things. Um, and, and yeah, just to persevere with it, because, like, even if you've got loads of subscribers, like, you know, it's not guaranteed that loads of people are going to watch it. So I guess that's what I would say, yeah. Um, yeah, just stick with it, because, I mean, I've been through so many yeah. like, periods where I've not wanted to do it. Uh, because of like low yeah. view counts, but you just gotta stick with it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. just don't let it get to you. Just keep going. And yeah. That's I, the thing thing that I would recommend. Uh, I mean, I've got a lot of different recommendations for the mm-hmm. YouTube stuff, but like, try and improve your skills with every video. That's that's what yeah. I I've been mm-hmm. doing because like, yeah. once you start once you stop learning new stuff, it kind of gets very stale. And I think that's what uh-huh. saved YouTube for me. Like, I would have quit a long time ago if I hadn't have, like experimented with After Effects and yeah, sure. different filming techniques and things. So, yeah. what about what about you, Tom? Like, you've you've been uploading more recently. Uh, just a few short videos after the end of uh, after six months ago. I, I love the video you did of like the, the two broken Daleks, and then you just like went bam fixed. Yeah. It was... Yeah, somebody <laughs> asked me, did I actually fix those Daleks? <laughs> I, I just wizard. had to ruin the magic for them by saying, no, I bought two new ones that very day. I don't know how it worked, though. Like, in concept, you'd think that that video wouldn't be funny, but for some for some reason, it was really good. Like, it just really worked. I don't know what it was. <laughs> yeah. So, hats off to you, man. Yeah, yeah in, fact, in fact, quite lately, I've been throwing in little little jokes that you would have to reverse the audio to know what the joke is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I've been hiding subliminal messages in my videos. And I'm actually just tempted on saying what they were. But that would ruin the magic. All I'm just gonna say, <laughs> watch, watch my two videos, Magic with Daleks, and the Strange Dalek Pilot and play the audio back. You would laugh your asses off once you hear what they were. I- I'm gonna do that. Yeah, after, after this, after this ends, I'm not yeah. doing. <laughs> um, uh, do you think the the movies will come back to cinemas? Um, oh yeah, you're in you're in Ireland at the moment. TBV figures. I don't know because this is the first time that they've really done it. Studio Canal, like, yeah. showing the films again. Well, so. I don't know. I, I, I... Yeah. Yeah, uh, perhaps uh, not for a while. I, I don't think, but you never know. I guess. I was actually, I was actually going to say this very quickly about my channel, about one thing that absolutely shocked me. Go on. My most popular video on the channel, despite it being Doctor Who themed, my most popular video on the channel is not a Doctor Who video. What is uh. it? <laughs> It, it was a bloody fan-made Transformers video that I've done. Uh. Yeah, it was like my own <laughs> fan-made... It was like my own fan-made trailer. I mean, fan-made intro for Generation 2. And somehow that blew up in views! <laughs> I, I guess the algorithm likes... Yeah, likes that yeah I, was like, I was like, yeah, fine, I'm just going to make this, this quickie video. And post it on there a few days later. Like, okay, I'm going to check back on my video. What the fuck?! Tom, that's got... Tom, Hasbro that's... Even... Not to mention Hasbro Jesus. even promoted what, what on it. Uh, I don't <laughs> like know what promotion. happened there. Guys, I'm going to have to just... Uh, I'll just be one minute. minute. Oh, it's not oh. for me. It's, it's raining and like, it just like splashed all over my setup. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the Daleks have got him. <laughs> no, not again. You heard me. Where? Uh, there you are. Did you do that?
Wait, who said that Alex should got him? I said that. Did you hear that? <laughs> sort of. A little bit. Not it, really. it, was my, it was my dad outside ah. with the garden hose and he just sprayed into my through the window <laughs> <laughs> to ah. put me off. Like, thanks. Uh, um, anyway, right. Um, get your last questions in, guys. And um, hmm. Okay. Cameron says, yeah. do, do whatever makes you happy and you will grow and people who love your work will support it. That is that is very true. Um, mm -hmm. I, may, I, may, I may not have a million subscribers, but the ones I do have support my work. So, you know, that's what I'm grateful for. Uh, yeah. I never knew how many people, including old friends from school, would be interested in Dalit molding and operating. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, I mean, you just got to find the right people at the end of the day. Um, yeah, you might even find a few people that have actually operated a Dalek a la me. Subscribe to me. <laughs> you I should have promoted my channel on haven't. Upload it, Tom. Upload it on your channel. Ah, uh, no, you can't be bothered. Okay. Um, <laughs> Maybe as a short. Because it, it, it was technically a short video. Cool. YouTube but shorts. I, can't be I, I, was, I was thinking at one point of doing like... Um, a shorts clips channel because I, I don't want to put shorts on this channel because I just no it, it ruins yeah. like the um you know the layout I don't the think aesthetic it's... yeah yeah because I mean you did yeah. you did a couple for the um keychain things I um, did yeah. yeah I, I yeah. think I did one and it kind of well, maybe like either the first or second one like really took off like the algorithm for those things is, is weird so um yeah, I sort of just did a couple of them and then haven't done anything since. But yeah, it's, it's a weird one because um, but they probably do belong on their own channel, really, because it does kind of mess up the layout, like you say. And just, I, I just wish they have a different thumbnails and stuff. And yeah, I wish they had yeah. like a different um, section for shorts. Yeah, like a different tab or something. That'd be yeah. nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 So I would do it if they did, but there's a lot of like YouTubers out there, especially like Star Wars reviewers, who have separate clip channels. Sure. Where yeah. like they take clips and the reviews and like put them, and the algorithm recommends those like crazy. Tell so, me yeah. about it. There was there's one that constantly been recommended to me by a guy who just has a lot of fun playing on Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. Yeah, I feel like I've seen those at some point, probably. Especially, especially that one video where he managed to use that glitch that was now patched. But since he was on the holiday without any internet during the day of the patch, he could still do it, and he spawned all of the Obi Wan's that the game had. Wow! wow. Oh, I almost yeah. Got... And there was a lot of hello there's. Hang on, I, I just got a message. Um, yep. Well, in the chat, apparently. Yeah, I saw this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, if, I don't really believe it because I've not got an email. Um, hang on. All my how? Let's have a look. What does it say? I'll just read it out. Oh, the customs is here. Figures have been announced very early August, but don't tell anyone else. I will send a message to you, Ozzy, showing you what CEO have said. <laughs> um, the thing is about that. I'm subscribed to Character Options mailing list, so I would get the yeah. I'd get the email at the same time as you would. So yeah um i have not been received any email what the hell is this all about are you on the mailing <laughs> list tom um for the no no okay are you richard i am yes yeah, uh, yeah. i've been for for a no. while now yeah no what is this, uh, this it's, is it's, it's a top secret thing that reviewers have no Damn basically it. basically you send uh the pr team a link to your youtube channel and like yeah. If, if they like it, then they send you emails about the figures and stuff. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, press releases and, oh, well, and yeah, stuff. Think, yeah. I don't think they would li they like mine because of how uh, <laughs> low quality it is compared to everybody else's. D don't put yourself down. Don't put yourself down. Yeah, I, I mean, to be honest, they, they probably... No, I'm not really putting myself down. It's just that I haven't mind. reviewed a product in like a while now. It's like the last time I reviewed a product, it was the second history of a Dalek set. And that was made for my channel's three year anniversary. That was despite the ago, fact yeah. despite the fact the video was not made for the three year anniversary of my channel. But it 
happened. It just to me. happened. To yeah, the, I've done that uh, before. The channel's third year. <laughs> also, hey, hey, Supreme Customs, uh, how are you doing? Yeah, I, I said, I said that to him earlier. I, I must have. I, I was I was just saying it separately, just so he knew that I acknowledged it. <laughs> um, okay. To round, okay. I think there's probably like a tinsy wincy thing. Can I answer options? What's happening with the new figures? Where are they? <laughs> yeah, tell us yeah. about these new figures. I, I want to know. Where are they? Because I feel like you guys will probably know about this more than I do, but like the last announcement before the wave came out, it seems like the, the time gap is smaller this time. Because it's apparently September that they're coming out, and we don't know what they are yet. So I've heard, I've heard that the first wave is September and the second wave is November. So I've heard, but mm, I'm saying right, this right yeah. now: the first wave is going to be somewhere around October or November, and the third wave, I mean, and the second wave will be December or early 2023. Yeah, I mean, the last wave got delayed, like, yeah, that's the, one, how the autumn one for last year got delayed to uh, Christmas, didn't it? So, it did, yeah. yeah at, at this point, I'm just expecting them to be be very delayed. Like, I, I don't yeah. even know when to expect them, to be honest. Just, like, yeah, it's a shame to not yeah, have more clarity that, on that. But, yeah, yeah, they're, they're yeah, the Duke Nukem forever of Doctor Who figures. If anybody gets that reference. No, they, they are the Wave 1 articulated shadow from Jack Specific of Doctor Who figures. <laughs> did you... Uh, did, Tom, like, you know what I'm talking about. Like, they, they took forever no, to release I articulated got, shadow. No, no, he actually was perfect for me. He was perfectly arrived the same time as the others. Well, that's lucky, because I, I, I could never find it. Because anyway, anyway, like Sonic, that. Sonic's a different channel. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we, channel. we got we got Richard Coleman in the chat. Like, isn't it funny? Uh, like, as as we're closing it off, we get like the most views. Oh no, no. We, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not let's not close it off because these people have just joined. It's not fair for them. How are you? How are you doing for the time, Richard? Um, I could do a little bit longer. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, well, we'll just um, say like. I've got- Ten. I've got all yeah. the time I need. Ten just, minutes, yeah. Just ten minutes, because... Um, yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Richard Coleman's yeah. good at asking questions, so... Richard, ask away. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> ask away! <laughs> ask away. Ask um, away other, other Richard. And apparently, Supreme uh. Customs says that um, they've stopped doing the mailing list now, because so many people try to... Yeah. Uh, like right. it. I mean... Yeah. It's kind of sad, but... But surely we wouldn't... Uh, it was the last thing they emailed would have been the Warriors of the Deep set, right? So, yeah. how, how surely we, we wouldn't know if they've stopped doing it until something like comes out. Yeah, then um, we'd know if they haven't done it. Honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I'm just sick and tired of waiting. Correct. I want to see leaks. You know, um... more announcements now. <laughs> the thing about the, the... I'm sick of waiting. The... I hate <laughs> guessing because it could be wrong. The the Warriors of the Deep set. How was that doing mm. for sales? Is that sold out yet? Um, I'm not gonna probably not. No, it's not. Honest. No, I don't think so. No, no. no. I, I don't really well. know what the deal is with like um the unit set from like last year or whatever, and like the companion stuff, like yeah. just not managing yeah. to budge anywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. In, fact, it... in fact, there was one. There was one thing that was revealed recently. Go on. They they revealed something recently, and you're both are gonna like it. Go on. Trust me, you will. They have recently re-released the Rose and Canine and Second Doctor and Tardis from the War oh, Games yeah, to this. Forbidden Planet. Wait, what? Yeah. In Forbidden Planet. What, what? Yeah, for Forbidden Planet. I saw this on the uh, the merchandise site. It passed me by when. The date actually happened. Yeah, I think now the second Doctor set is out of stock. Oh but wow! Still, it's, it's like I don't think it's an actual re-release. It's like old stock. Just old stock. The yeah. Rose and Canine thing, and then the the War Games Tardis. But I think yeah. according to the comments on that article, they were selling it for like twice the price, like thirty-five quid maybe. Which is what the fuck? Is a little bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not. But <laughs> seventeen ninety-nine for like literally the most produced uh, figure from yeah the Rusty Davis era. That thing was released. I think that was released probably about four or five times, and like 
they have the audacity yeah. to charge seventeen yeah, ninety nine. <laughs> in fact, if they wanted to put put money on a figure. I've got one figure in mind that I'm just going to send to the group chat. Go on. Yeah, okay, that's an interesting question. Like, pick one re-release that they, they need to re-release because I think that there is, like, a back catalogue of figures which they need to re-release at this point. What would you say, Tom? Is that what you're putting in the chat? Yeah, I'm putting it in the server. <sighs> Hang on. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We're on the yeah. same wavelength here. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Accurate five inch Dalek sack. <laughs> oh, it's, finally. It's, it's a crime, I am not. so bloody sick of waiting for a history of the, of the Daleks to get to the episodes he's in. I, I, to be honest, I doubt that it'll yeah. even reach that, to be honest, because, like, how many sets they're going to be making <laughs> up until then? I mean, yeah. I can I can just think of a few Daleks that they could do for the new series. I mean, I think yeah. they could they could get sets out of it if it was still going that long. But I guess it's a question of yeah, because yeah. like all the different attachments that would be minor variants, like the Emperor Guard, like Imperial Guard Daleks, or whatever, oh, yeah, all the I mean, could, and stuff like that, and I mean, all this Dalek, sort of stuff. But um, yeah, for Dalek, they could. They could just heavily weather up a Dalek and say yeah. that's a Metaltron. And next to it is the clean version with the sure. gold yeah. band. The gold band, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bad Wolf parting of ways, the assault yeah. Dalek, along with another yes, God, bloody yes. Dalek. Yeah. I feel like this is probably a bit of a kind of an unpopular opinion, but I think that the history of the Dalek sets need to I think they need to change the uh just the layout of them. And possibly okay. the, the amount of figures in the sets because I, I feel like it's kind of gone a little bit stale. Uh, I mean, they are obviously selling very well; like they all sold out because Daleks yeah. are just Daleks are just popular anyway. Like they're always unless it's sell. evil of Daleks. Unless it's the evil of Daleks like... set that didn't do too great. Um, but the majority <laughs> yeah. the majority of them have sold really well. Um, yeah, I never got the planet of the Daleks set. Did you not? Uh, no, it, no. The that, set well, it, it came and went. I am. I yeah. run the BNM multiple times asking, yeah. do they have the plan of the Dalek set? Yeah. And like, no, them. we only have the silver and blue ones. Mm. I was like, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I, mean, I feel like it's the same thing like the first Doctor in Times as well. Like There yeah, are a couple I, of sets in like that most recent way which should have came and went. Well. Like They were they were here in December, maybe, depending on where you were in the country, I guess, in like start of January, and then they very quick just like went up in price skyrocketed in price and ebay and stuff and they're still there now unfortunately yeah so so i missed (laughs) out on the on Uh, the rattling dalek head gimmick yeah oh (laughs) also also i'm gonna have an unpopular opinion if one of the next sets is gonna be planet of the daleks again go on i'm gonna have an unpopular opinion and say i don't want the next set to have the transparent dalek yeah, I'm the same. I don't, I don't want the transparent Dalek mm-hmm. again. Uh, like, it's not bit, because yeah. I want the transparent Dalek to be Raz fuck. <laughs> I'm saying this because because transparent plastic, well, see through plastic, clear plastic, whatever, is a ticking time bomb. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they could break easily. I mean, hell, one of the one of the connect the piece. I mean, one of the pieces that connects the dome to the body. Snapped on mine. Oh, Luckily, uh, it can not still turn its head just fine, but it's a bit looser now. Okay, I'm just gonna just have a look at the comments. Uh, okay, yeah. they've stopped new people from getting signed up. Yeah. Um, does right. anyone right. know Al's favorite era? I'd probably say that that was the seventies, right? Because he's not a massive fan. Yeah, I'm a, I think. Tom Baker yeah, Tom John Baker. Hedgehog. He's kind of like uh, early Tom Baker, I think. He's mm. gone on record as saying. And yeah, yeah because. Like John Burtz as well, yeah, sure. Yeah, because fuck me, Tom Baker has a lot of figures. Especially yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you look like at the uh, the very first classic wave, I mean, you know, you've got your, your Vok robots, you've got your yeah. Magnus Grill, haven't you? It's kind of you've obvious. Got your you can't blame him, to be honest, but your Zygon, yeah, of K-Mon course. Robot. Yeah. Oh, you've yeah, got exactly. Your yeah. Bloody Genesis, Dalek. You've got Tom. 
<laughs> yeah. Colin Baker and Peter Davison. I was like, fuck off, especially Peter can't have that salary. <laughs> yeah, I, do you remember Batman? Do you remember Batman Watch's review of the fifth Doctor? Yeah, the I watched that back not too long ago. It it's, was like, uh, Mr. Dewar, you don't get to choose whether he has yeah. a salary or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's combat that now. It's obviously the relationship they have now. It's just, uh, it's That's bonkers, funny. isn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking of Al, um, wow. he kind of <laughs> sent. He kind of sent me. <laughs> a few things. Oh sh- shit! Say, I wasn't yeah. gonna say that. <laughs> what did he I wasn't say, gonna yeah. say. I wasn't gonna say. <laughs> what did he say? Yeah. I forgot that we were live. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I, I honestly completely forgot we were live, and I was, I was never. I wasn't gonna say that. Okay, uh, tell us that. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll it's tell two you. Two hours that. in, no one's gonna. No one's gonna get this far. Notice, notice. Richard already knows. Richard Coleman already yeah. knows. I don't well. know. You never told me this. Tom, shit. I'll, I'll tell. I'll tell you afterwards, Tom. Um, <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, if they ever did, and you had the choice, could you only vote on one? What would you get? The cleaners from the eighties to the War Machine sixties or three Wilkie Dalek? What are we talking about? We're talking about the the cleaner thing from the Happiness Patrol, or no Paradise I'm Towers? So, yeah. It, which I'm one? Guessing so. Uh, the War Machines is that like? I don't know what that is. That's the sixties War Machine, like the episode the War, War Machines. Machine. Oh, the Warton. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. War Machine, the cleaner. Oh, and what was that other one? The Wilkie Dalek. Wilkie Dalek. I choose the oh, Wilkie Dalek. Like, oh, you mean yeah. the weirdly weird skirting mech weird Dalek? Do you know about that, Richard? The Wilkie. It rings a very, very vague uh, vague bell. What's the colour scheme? Just remind me. It's a Or is it just. It's a 60s Dalek, but uh, it only has one back panel. Like one of the 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 weird, the weirdly proportioned one from Evil of the Daleks. It's on 6388, so you'll be able to see it. Right. Not to mention, mention it was animated for Evil of the Daleks. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, it was so cool that they actually animated that one. Even the pupil yeah. Dalek, but they gave it to the wrong one. Okay, um, Sontar and Ship for a re release. Yeah, well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I mean, for people who already have them, it's like, yeah. I wouldn't go out my way to buy another one. They're quite cumbersome, aren't they? They're quite yeah. big things. Unless, but... unless do you want to recreate the new ending for a fix with Sontarans. <laughs> I've forgotten what oh, that is. Dear. What is fixture? The um, the Jimmy Savile thing. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. They changed. Yeah, they yeah. literally changed the ending Did to they? it. Mm. Yeah, they changed the ending to have to have them look at the scanner and see a Sontaran battle fleet. Yeah. And All you right. can tell that it was recently added because Colin Baker sounds older. Right. I oh, mean, right, which, which one's the audio? Right. Which one's scarier, uh, the Santarans or Jimmy Savile? I don't know. Jimmy yeah. Savile Tough is choice. much more <laughs> scarier than Santarans. <laughs> uh, much oh, more dear. scary. Anyway, yeah, we, we won't I'll go. We won't go there. Nah. Uh, I know someone who's doing the kits of the Zygon. Yes, I have I ordered that, one yeah. of those Zygons. I've got one coming. Oh wow! Right. And oh, hang on. Interesting. You guys, uh, exclusive. Okay, dokie. So Aaron J. Climus, I'm sure you know who that is. Uh, big in like the the 3D world of Doctor Who. Um, um, he 3D scanned a 3.75 inch Ice Warrior and scaled it up and scaled it up and sent out the files. And I I have one. Ah, so uh, that's the thing I love about fans. How uh, they can do the one thing that character options still can't. <laughs> the the thing is though, I mean. <laughs> Taking uh, off my uh, dickhead glasses for a minute. Um, yeah. Essentially, they could they couldn't do it in character options because it would not be cost effective at all. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. for God's sake. Tell that to tell that the bloody Hasbro when they did it. It's com- It's completely different with Hasbro though because like Star Wars is worldwide. No, selling. not talking about Star Wars. No, oh, for, you, for fucking Transformers. For figures. Transformers, even and Transformers he- is bigger than Dot Two, so. <laughs> yeah, but still, they they took some of the smaller figures and, and upscaled. scaled it up. Yeah, but it's it's to do with the molds more than more than that because you have to make entirely new molds, and mm-hmm. they'll be ridiculously expensive, uh, and it wouldn't make the money back for the for a nice warrior. Unfortunately, unless they appeared in the latest series of Doctor Who, 
it probably it, it wouldn't really do so. Well. And they and they had multiple opportunities to do that. Yeah, that's the, the the thing I won't forgive the BBC for. I'm not going to put that on Chevnall. I'll put that on, you know, the BBC as a whole. We don't know who whose fault it is, but uh, like not allowing the toy companies to see the promo material before it came out. Right. Yeah. Ridiculous. I still blame Chevnall for that. I mean, you can't stop. You weren't, you weren't at the meetings. You don't know who was there. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um. Okay. Movie Daleks. We we won't get movie Daleks unless yeah. they strike a deal with um, Studio Canal. Uh. Come on, Studio Canal, let them do it. <laughs> oh yeah, and Richard Coleman said to me, like in a private chat, like, "Oh, if only Al was there to like meet up with like execs at uh, Studio Canal. Maybe he was on a business meeting to get us some movie dark figures." And like, <laughs> yeah, no, that that <laughs> you never know. You never know. Oh <laughs> yeah. uh, no. Uh, well. Hang on, I'll read the last one. We got quite a lot of comments. As soon as we start talking about yeah, character yeah. options, people yeah. seem to. I mean, it's a winner, isn't it, of a topic, yeah. Mm. Yeah, thoughts on a Paradigm Civil War? Paradigm versus Paradigm. Uh, how Why would, would how they would be that in work? a civil war with each other? Isn't the whole point of Dalek <laughs> Civil Wars the, purif- the purified ones versus unpure Daleks? Mm. I kind of think the whole Dalek Civil War thing kind of isn't... I don't know. I, I wasn't pumped for it in... Um... Revolution. It was interesting when Remembrance did it. When Resolution did it, it was only for like one bloody minute, and then later on they were like, "Oh, all of the all of the unpure Daleks are being destroyed off screen," and like, "General, yeah. you fucked it up again." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seriously, um... I'm I'm so tempted on just going on a full on Chibnall rant. We said we're gonna say well, we're gonna save that for a future video because <laughs> I, I yeah let's just yeah let's just save that discussion after the the special happened. Uh, TPV figures says he wants the four pack Dalek sets re released from Resurrection and stuff. But the thing is, would they re release that with the old packaging for nostalgia's sake, or would they create new packaging? That's a cool topic. That's, point. What do you think? That's what do you think? Actually, a good question. Hmm. Because the last time they did that I... was um, the Age of Steel set, right? Re-released the same packaging. Yeah, I yeah. so. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah. Interesting food for thought, though. But I don't, I don't think they would, because like, uh, they, they keep with the style guides now, and. Yeah, I, I, not, I agree. Not gonna yeah. lie, I. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to see a revamped. Cult of Scaro and Genesis Arc set. That would be nice. That would be really yeah. awesome. I would love to see that. And you, yeah, don't, you don't have to wait whole... until history. Just re-release. Just do it now. <laughs> do it yeah. now. If I, if I, you're getting to that point for the history of the Arctic sets. Mm. Release it for that point. That'd be brilliant. Listen uh... to the fans, <laughs> Alduar. They're giving you so many ideas, and yet you choose not to listen to them. <laughs> Uh, oh, well. <laughs> one panel real. Oh yeah, hang on. <laughs> uh, who, who cares about people who already have figures? Those of us who don't would like such. That's true. Okay, I guess yeah, I'm. True. I guess I'm in a privileged position, right? I, I kind of. I bought all the classic <laughs> stuff on release. So, you know, I'm lucky. Yeah. Uh, I my, didn't. <laughs> uh, my dad. <laughs> my dad apologizes for getting the Dalek figures wet, and I don't accept the apology because you know they are very valuable. No, <laughs> water won't hurt them. Uh, I still take them in the bath. So there you go. Um, really? I bet you didn't. You, I bet you didn't expect me to drop that bombshell. <laughs> it's like I'll just take. I'll just take my red paradigm dike off the off the shelf, and when I go for a bath, I like stick it at the end of my bath, and I just look at it and like, yeah. There you go. I'm gonna take. <laughs> Oh, it's time to take a bath. I'm going to take the sound effects starting into the bathroom, maybe. It'll electrocute you. <laughs> don't, don't drop the toaster, dude. Don't drop the toaster. Don't drop the oh, sound effects starting in there. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, again, that would technically count as the Dalek exterminating you, just like in that one scene of Dalek. That's true. Using yeah. water to its advantage. Um, yeah. Okay. You know, I miss that about Daleks. How clever they can be, especially when it comes to the killing. <laughs> now it's just ext- 
exchanging the pew pew for a rat -a tat tat <laughs> And it's also Sontaran shooting at thin air and not being able to hit targets even though they were literally bred for war, but that's a tangent for another video. Um, not, to not to mention a Dalek having a mini a gun, gun, gun yeah, yeah, and gun not being able to shoot and anymore. And somehow misses its target. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, they are missing out big time for the eighties <laughs> Daleks. That's true. I I think that they should definitely yeah. re-release yeah. the Remembrance. Uh, okay. Um, it could because of loss of faith in Dalek Parliament. Oh, is this really the Civil War thing? Uh yeah. Oh, the Dalek Prime Minister. Oh, I don't even get me started on the Dalek Prime Minister. What <laughs> what was that? Um. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I can see the idea of a Dalek Parliament. I can't. The There's no political system. Another thing. <laughs> There's no. I mean, do Daleks they... vote? Like, do Daleks vote? Is that how it works? No, Parliament. Parliament means more than just voting and shit like that. Because Parliament is also means a gathering of a lot of people. Okay. To discuss to discuss things. I'll let you not off. just voting on things. <laughs> um. Kids love to have things. Fight a. Well, hang on, I can't read this message. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah. Yes. Th three. Like, three D printing is keeping us alive. <laughs> yeah. um, I, mean, I mean, when it comes, when it came to the Dalek Parliament in Asylum, I think it should have been treated more like the Supreme Council. Yeah, I agree. One hundred percent. Well, you would 100%. have. Well, you would have the Supreme Daleks. Maybe, maybe even go all out and have Supreme Daleks throughout the show's history, just just on these sort of pillar things to make them stand out from the other Daleks yeah. and have the factions right behind them. It's true. It's true. Yeah, they should have done something like that. I've seen, I've seen a picture. I can't remember the person's name but it was like if asylum of the daleks was done in the 70s and they had a golden emperor yeah. instead i'm of... pretty sure that was the the pride oh, the pride, right. pridonian on yeah. twitter right? yeah because because when i saw that image i was like that's what they should have done mm. instead of the prime minister it's the bloody emperor yeah that's that's like my probably my last talking point is like what <laughs> what happened to the dalek emperor 2005 was the last time that we saw a Dalek Emperor. I'm not counting Tom of Victorious. I'm not counting Tom of Victorious. Uh, 2000, don't forget, don't forget, 2010 with City of the Daleks and 2012 for, oh, yeah. for and the Eternity clock. clock. Yeah. My bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are but canon. then again, then again, the design of the Emperor for City of the Daleks was just a paradigm version of the yeah. Party of the Ways Emperor. True. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely prefer the Eternity Clock one. Yeah, the Eternity Clock looks more cooler, despite the fact that he was just a ball with balls. Mm. <laughs> True. All right. And uh, yes, I made that sound more inappropriate than it already does. And uh, and on that note, yeah, let's let's let's, let's, let's get some um, some closing uh, closing thoughts. Uh, so yeah, th thank you, thank you very much, uh, Richard, for for joining. Uh, want to just round Thanks off for having me, yeah. yeah 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 cool um no it's been good fun good fun talking about the dialogue movies and the character stuff as well um but there's always so much to talk about with the figures so yeah good fun and not to mention <laughs> getting to talk to one of your fans yes that, that being yeah me, yeah, yeah. Uh, i mean <laughs> i feel like we've all been watching each other's videos anyway yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. well <laughs> no that's cool it's cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, cheers. Thanks, Tom, for, for coming along. You're welcome. No, it's, it, you, you made it very funny, so thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, yeah. Def <laughs> you're, you're definitely coming back. Yeah, I'm coming back in a big way and expect to see a video in another year. Yes, next year. <laughs> Tom's 30 second video of um, how to. Why Chris Chibnall is bad. <laughs> And have Damon Looming Chip, Chibnall bad, but... Chibnall bad, Chibnall bad. And, by, and by quite literally, I would feel honoured if 
and Damon Looming just sees the title on my video and tweets about it going, I don't want to see another video going, chip no bad, chip no bad, without even watching the video. Oh. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's going to be written on your tombstone, Tom. Yeah. Uh, Mm. Okay. Yeah, but then again, I think Tom Baker would have the best tombstone ever. No more. Oh really? gosh, yeah. Why? Yeah. Am I missing something here? That is that that video that's been going around on Twitter. I've not seen. Have it. I got that right? Um, um. I think I know what you mean. Is it about like the woman who he met in the street or something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to tell me about this. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> what's going on? I'm confused. We're gonna we're gonna, you tell them. we're gonna look at this um, and then we're gonna close the stream, right? Okay. I don't know how you'd find it, but like, it's, um, it's, it's a video, like an interview with, with him from it must have been I don't know twenty like, years ago or something. Um, yeah, it was like two thousand. Yeah, something. I can't I can't quite remember. And yeah, at one point. It, he was yeah, go on. <laughs> talking about how, how, at uh, one time he was at a bus stop. Um, there was this old woman that was right next to him. She said hello, and he was like hello, and she just shook it and and her bosom, and she was like, I I "I'm sorry, I think I'm going a bit dotty. Have, do I know you?" Um, he just. Kindly of smiled and said, "Well, perhaps you have grandchildren." And she was like, "Oh yes, you're you're that bloke from Doctor Who." You say, "I knew you. You're special because my titties tingle." <laughs> it, it was something on the lines of that. Yeah, and then he says, "That'll be on my tombstone, like gravestone, like um, Tom Baker who made titties tingle or something." Like that. Oh, that's I've heard part. about that. That's, that's the punchline. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've heard about that before. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. There we Closing go. statement. Tom Baker <laughs> makes women's titties tingle. So there you go. Yeah. Yes. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.